greatest lesson in life is get punched in the face. If you've never been punched in the face, you don't know anything. It's greater than 12 years of schooling, getting f***ing rocked for your attitude and the way you're behaving. That's why I'm a believer in only in-person podcasts for the record. I think the threat of violence has to always be on the table. Dude, <laughs> I have like three pages on threat of violence. I wrote a story about it. We call it a manifesto. <laughs> yeah, I mean, whatever I wrote. You're the cleanest tent when I blow my f***ing brains out? This is why I love those Karen videos of them getting rocked by some chicken <laughs> Taco Bell. Some white privileged <laughs> walks in, she's never been slapped. She's like, <laughs> when somebody like comes around the counter and oh, yeah. all the employees are like, I've been training for this my whole life. <laughs> that is nice to see the employees come together and like be a unit. Yeah, a yeah. Voltron of violence. <laughs> they unionize through hatred. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's only nice. <laughs> I mean, the ambiance in this place. I've been asleep for 30 minutes. <laughs> Dude, yeah, it's so I feel, nice. I feel like I want to lay like baby Jesus in your hair. <laughs> like, yeah. Tell me found yeah, yeah. in like a little cabin. No, you're going to nod off. This is a heroin tent. Yeah, this is not This, is fucking open this makes me want to go to fucking that festival, Dell Fest, and just have a tent like this and do podcasts. And then you can leave and go to a show. Yeah, that would be better than this. Yeah, that would be slightly <laughs> I mean, better. Slightly I mean, you don't better. have to shit on but my it, whole idea. That's <laughs> great. But I like your idea it's also. Good. No, you know, this, it's a testament to how nice the space yeah. Yeah. It's like I'm, the blood is flowing. Yeah. I want to like walk into a field and yeah. watch people play. Do you, folk do, you do shrooms at a folk like festival? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh really? <laughs> that's that's yeah, part of yeah. it. Well, is that what you call me? living room a folk <laughs> festival? <laughs> <laughs> this dude's always ripped on shrooms. Dude, are you really? Yeah. No, that's the wrong true. time though. We don't do it correctly. When the heat goes away, like when the house is empty, I I'll take a bunch of mushrooms and lock all the doors and cover the blinds and just lose yeah. my fucking mind. <laughs> Buddy Matt. <laughs> But he matches it with whiskey, so yeah. it's like just fucking hell. Oh, yeah. perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah, like, oh, yeah, the shrooms will make me paranoid, and yeah. then the whiskey will make me just <laughs> yeah. not sleep. Yeah. Just it's fucking. like going to Burning Man and thinking Burning Man's trying to rape you. Yeah, oh, nice. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. it is just, that thing when you take shrooms where you're like, you get to that zone where you're like, this is so fun, and this is so great, I'm going to take more. Yeah. And then you slide into just like, why am I making any of the decisions I'm making? Like, I, like even pulling a blanket over me is like, well, what a weird animal you are, <laughs> like responding to temperature and shit. Like you just, I was actually going to so shut this fan off on yeah. my feet. Yeah. I'm so cool. Yeah, yeah, right like now. just everything is so weird. Like if you have to go to the bathroom and pee, you're like, this is insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. looking that at I'm your urine this. flow is on it's mushrooms. Like, that was in me the whole time. Yeah, Holy yeah. Shit. Am I just full of pee right now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What the hell? And it's a lot. Yeah, yeah. You can like watch it's your just, stomach. It's like, truly a Star Wars saber ripping through, <laughs> ripping through. Your dick hole, like whoa, it's dude! This is crazy. Yeah. And how frequently are you doing this? I don't do it that often. I was there Once was a, a while week. where I was doing it. Like we we got a bunch of chocolates from a lady, so I was like doing them a lot. And then now it's it's like probably once every couple months. I'll like. Do you even like shrooms? Or you just have a sweet tooth. I thought you just had chocolate around. That's You're a like, problem. Though. I don't have a sweet tooth. The chocolates really? are I don't. I so never good. eat candy. <laughs> High quality. Fucking they are really yeah, good, yeah, yeah. dude. Chocolate. She sent us like Christmas like peppermint. Mushroom chocolates. Yeah, you get seasonal mushroom chocolates. <laughs> it's like yeah, my yeah, dick. yeah, yeah. This yeah, is what gets like yeah. middle-aged women to buy yeah, these yeah, candles yeah. during like it's like p pecan pie at Bath and Body Works. Dude, yeah, my I don't mom give a will buy. Fuck. <laughs> you know pecan pie rules in the fall. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I don't want to smell that shit through my house every day. Oh, and then you associate on. it with a big old dump. My oh, mom gave true. us Christmas soap, and you couldn't stop talking. About I, every it. time I see her, I'm like, "You are a soap queen." <laughs> and wait, His mom is a soap queen. Is that also who sent you the mushrooms? No, is your mom just, <laughs> just <laughs> lacing you guys up like, "Yo, yeah, soap yeah. and shrooms." Yeah, 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 she yeah. saw our podcast. Yeah. She's like, "You need to chill." Yeah. Yeah. You guys are gonna get clean you. inside and out. Yeah. Yeah. Right? She, she knows I smell bad. She's trying to <laughs> fix that. House. I mean, that's insane that you have a woman that's just sending you gourmet. She's the best. Drugs. Yeah. 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 Cookies by Carol. Yeah. Wait, is this a real? Yeah. Is that actually her thing? Yeah. Shout out Cookies by Carol. Yeah. She like. She sells these chocolates. It's like New Tropics. Yeah. It's like the highest. They were trying to level. do. They're trying to do a Stuff Island collab. She wants us to come out <laughs> to flavor test <laughs> <laughs> chocolates. <laughs> to decide, to decide yeah, what two we hours want. later, I'm yeah. naked jerking off. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah, I think yeah. I like the apricot yeah, one. Yeah, oh, promo dude. code for Stuff <laughs> <Yeah>. Island. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking pumpkin spice, dude. The ad reads you guys have been doing, by the way, on the show, <laughs> dude, so good. Thank you. I've been. We a just game got fan. great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Dude, can we talk about it? Yeah, yeah of course. Oh, you can you're going to talk about it. <laughs> I, I have a screenshot. Oh, okay, I could, okay, I, yeah, yeah. So that's this ad agent. I didn't. We didn't know our ad agent says like, "Hey, you guys we didn't know we were getting grades. graded." Yeah. Okay, look, I'm going to read some of the notes, here, okay, <laughs> yeah. and then you just tell me how this makes sense for an ad read. Okay, yeah. listeners, no, I get it. listeners of this show know what an ad read is. Okay, hey. do you read them nice and clean? Uh, yeah, I want to yeah, have a successful business. Yeah, I want to. I want to not live in this tent. 
<laughs> this tent is nice, dude. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we want to get the heat. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is a, a note from some random ad company. It says, uh, notes, rambled a lot. <laughs> One of the hosts puffed a vape in the middle, almost like a mock ad for that, but then had to specify that it's not the ad that they're reading. <laughs> what happened there? Well, I think mean, we were probably Chris? we were probably reading an ad for like Lucy or one of those like nicotine chew things yeah. or something like that. Well, now we're getting a lot of ads for like we have to like pre and I or we post record, in. so it's not for the when we first started getting ads, <laughs> it was on the actual episode. So we'd film Monday, so the Wednesday ads we'd film after the podcast. Yeah. So now we we'll just come in like fucking blitz and. Chris will be like, all right, what do we have? And he just opens the laptop. He's like, Lucy, you had problems getting off cigarettes? And it's just like direct to the fucking laptop, not giving a fuck. And then I say something negative because yeah. it's natural. Well, dude, what originally happened, like, okay, so, so we've never read the ads clean. But also the one note we got was like, don't just blast through. Like fucking yeah, add talk. personal... Mm. Experience mean it. to yeah, yeah. yeah. This is a real girlfriend thing to say, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Like, mean it. You can't just do it. Like, yeah. Do you actually it believe it? Do you believe yeah. the word you're saying? Yeah. 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 Well, to go back to the fucking uh, the stuff island. So Chris goes, <laughs> no, hold on, jumping hold on. around. Oh no, no, yeah, hold yeah. on, hold on. Because this is how we feel about ad reads. I feel gross. I feel dirty, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. So your fans know who you are and your personality. So and then all of a sudden they hear you like, hey yeah, guys. Yeah, I try love, Hex yeah. Class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the greatest technology <laughs> in heat induction. Also, shout out Hex Yeah, shout out Hex Class. <laughs> they just fucking. They, just, <laughs> they did. <laughs> the best sponsor we've ever had. He can't help it. He just can't help it. This is a perfect oh, example. Fucking Hex Class. Yeah, yeah, I mean, one of my games. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I so mean, we'll like, use them, but. Well, you have this like internal mechanism going like, don't, don't be corny to the point where you're not yourself. Yeah. So then we just. We talked. We have talking points, and then we just go on a tangent that's nowhere near where we need to go. Honest. And then you come back, and then you have to read the, the yeah. actual verbatim text. And then you get the grade. The point and is, you we get didn't, the grade of, of, <laughs> yeah, of yeah. F we minus. Didn't, we didn't want a name that meant anything or was trying to be cool, so we put stuff into a business name. Chris generator. put stuff into it because he's a genius. And, <laughs> and Stuff Island came out as one of the responses. Yeah. And we just went. That's All right, so that funny. Is Isn't it great? Because you're like, what are we gonna talk about? Like stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, and then, the, okay, what also, like, where we started, like, fucking feeling our oats a little bit on the ad reads is we got we got an ad for a, a shoe that's, like, a lift for short dudes. You know what I mean? It's a yeah. sneaker with, like, a heel inside yeah. of it. This is them and being like, hey, your audience is losers. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, this is them being like, hey, yeah. you know who also listens to your coming show? coming at us a little bit. <laughs> yeah. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, These dude, two dudes will love this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, but, yeah, they'll believe it. But so we couldn't get through the read without, like, losing our minds <laughs> laughing. It was so funny. <laughs> And because he's reading it like <laughs> <laughs> earnestly, well, dude, and him it reading was also earnestly like, I'm like, reading this... like we never prep for the ad. So yeah. when I see the copy, it's the first time that I'm seeing it. You know what I mean? So yeah. I'm reading this shit that was just yeah. like so funny, just about like fucking. Hey, we're all the same height laying down. Am I yeah. right? Yeah. Well, you get through like, and, and, and like he gets through chunks, believe. and I think it's over. And I'm like, get to like the copy on stuff filing uh, yeah. slash whatever twenty percent, and then he goes. Uh, all right, guys. So, and then he goes through another paragraph of like bullet points of nonsense. Yeah, yeah. women like, wear makeup and bras. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, he comes an Andrew Tate video. Yeah, like, yeah, dude, yeah, these yeah, bitches. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why do they get to yeah. fucking women are fucking with us too? Yeah. Yeah. It's time yeah. we yeah. fight back. It's yeah. why I'm short because <laughs> women suck. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, but then they love the ad. And we got like a bunch of positive responses yeah. from that. So then we started being like, all right, well, let's fuck around. They literally like, say they're, we're the only show that they watch people, the ads yeah. because it's part of the, it's almost part of the cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's, it's so, you know. It's built in, yes, which is kind of the way it should in. be, in my yes. opinion. Like, yeah. I feel like that the audience will resonate with it more if it's more authentic. Make it authentic, yeah. <laughs> yeah but yeah. these people. Unless that, the actual podcast is going well and they're like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Why, did, wait, why did he drink 20 beers we, between then and yeah, now? Yeah. Like, why also, is he so drunk? <laughs> we've also started filming the ads with like guests from other weeks, like weeks we haven't released yet. Just there. So yeah, so all of a sudden there'll be just be like an episode, like, like a little episode with the other guests. Like, oh, Ian Fias is now in the room. That's interesting. Yeah. See, I agree with this. What is this. Yeah. The only people that have a problem are like purple banged fucking <laughs> LA ladies that are autistic. Oh, yeah. Who's yeah. giving us yeah, this? Yeah, this, this is a person that you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But yeah, I don't know. There's, I, but like, yeah, get to the good stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's some, there's some heaters in here, oh. dude. I mean, <laughs> but. When the host mentions surf and turf, the others talk and say, ooh, and then go on a tangent about ordering surf and turf. <laughs> well, you guys are coming close to the dictionary definition of losing a sponsor. <laughs> 
My my favorite one is the one where they're surf like and surf. Well, no, I like the surf and surf is so good, but I also like the 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 beat of rambled a lot. Then the, the next Wait. one, ram- no, 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 the ra- it's rambled a lot. Then they talked about crypto for a while and whether money is even. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are we but doing? Is money real though? Yeah, like, can we even figure that out? That's what I'm saying. We, right? we, I got in a big <laughs> fight with him and his brother on a boat. <laughs> yeah. We went fishing, and I was like, "Money's not real. Oh. You don't need money." Wait, you're on the side of money's real? Money's real. Yeah, well, he thinks money's real. Well, money okay, is real because we out, made it real. You got to flesh out your take. He money's like, real because we made it. Yes. He thinks people would still be making Philadelphia cream cheese. There's a guy out there that loves the factory, making cream yeah, cheese. Yeah, because just because of the for the love of the game. I got three uncles yeah. that would love to push out cream cheese. <laughs> <laughs> are you out of your fucking I bet they mind? are pushing out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he calls his wife. <laughs> I get a home and push out cream cheese. Wait, so you're on the side of money's not real? No. And you're on you the side of yeah, nobody uh, needs it. Okay, I'm, it's not real. I'm with you. It's a trade mechanism to put people down. It's like, look, everybody, we uh, have all of the necessary means to mm-hmm. make the world work. Yeah, we got enough food for everyone. Everybody, yep. dude, it's a liquidity vehicle, man. It's like yeah, but instead that's, of bartering, you, you are bartering. You go, you're trading and bartering. No, but you're making bartering easier. So instead of me have to know whether your snowshoes are as good as my hat. Uh, you, we just exchange. Yes, but that's what another I'm excellent saying, point. Yeah. I get this. <laughs> I, get, I get that's this. the thing. On, I, I don't know. What, I don't know how good you are at hats. I get this, but if you remove money, you could still do those things. It, but it's harder. You could just they, that's why they goods. made money, dude. Goods and services, dude. You don't need money. This is you don't creationist. need fake fucking like, gold bars in the a... treasury. You don't need that shit. Wait, it's are you all saying for we don't need it at all? <laughs> Dick Cheney <laughs> is a problem, and I want to get my back tattoo removed. That would actually be <laughs> so sick. fucking incredible. So sick. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bad tattoo. Wait, Dick Cheney. <laughs> Dick, Dick Cheney like, killed like, a guy, right? Like, like the bottom. Yeah, he shot, no, he didn't kill him, but he hit him with a bunch of bird shit. Bird uh, shot. Bird shit? Yeah, bird <laughs> shot. Dude. Like, dude, why do you have bird shit? Basically bird, bird shit. shit. Yeah, I mean, that's wild. You got a fucking, you got a shooter on your back. Dude, it doesn't, it doesn't, you don't need it. Let's, here's the thing. If you wipe all technology and let's say there's no treasury, there's no countries, if we're just people on Earth, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, this is so fucking... I'm with this you. This is that. really not my attitude. I'm not like, let's take care of the people. I get it. I understand So this is how you know it's real. The uh, fact that I, it's bringing something out of you that's not there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's like if everything was removed, we have to take care of each other as people on the planet to survive. You got scientists, you got electricians, you got fucking street sweepers. Everybody has a, a purpose. Mm-hmm. And what he's saying is like this is like Brave New World. I'm not <laughs> yes, but that's my point. If you remove all the shit, this guy's a big. You Huxley gotta have head, a Brave dude. New World, dude. Money doesn't fucking matter, dude. Money was a solution to a problem. Chris, Wait. if you had to survive and you came to me and I was like, I got a meat. You want to have some meat to survive? Yeah. And you're like, yeah, I got a coat. <laughs> like here, dude, swap off. Yeah, and then I got meat and you got a shitty coat that you wound up, wound up being a bad coat. You'd be like, this fucking sucks. I wish I could, I wish you could give trade you a me less, something that I knew had value. Less yes. meat. Yeah, but if you remove all the value, no. it's just about keeping each other healthy and clean. Wait, so how well, would this work now if we didn't have money? Like, yeah, let's say, you yeah, do? you're doing ad reads, right? For a lot of great brands that, yeah. that trust you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> that trust that you're going to put your best foot I forward. I don't have all the answers. <laughs> Yeah, dude. I think you're being really like, aggressive. Are you, what what, what if Kinsuri wanted you, to yeah. pay us in shoes? Listen, you're trying to get paid. Yeah, you're trying to get paid <laughs> in therapy, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't tell you the truth. Yeah, yeah. First of all, you, you want me, that you money? Put, yeah. yeah, you put me in a fucking. Please give me something I can pay taxes. Yeah, with. you're trying to get paid in nicotine gum. Yeah. Like, how is this gonna work? You put me in a hippie pup tent, and I'm starting to say like, <laughs> guys, we just gotta love each other. Yeah, dude. dude. Exchange goods and yeah, services. I want to take you to Burning Man so bad. I will. Have you been? I will kill myself. No, but I, I know, I. I know, I know. Literal I, hell. I, yeah, I know. I've been. I uh, went. La- I went last year. What? Yeah, dude. That I shit bet. was. That shit was fun. Was it? Yeah. But it was, how was the bartering? It's oh, not. We switched Schultz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole yeah. crew was taken care of. Yeah. We go with Shane. <laughs> yeah. We'll be fine. No, I don't. You give me a, a private, separate tent with our own porta potty. <laughs> but I don't. I know. love Burning Man. <laughs> but how far does? <laughs> like, hang on with these fucking disgusting apes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How far does hanging out with a rich person go in that in that world? I mean, you need shit to barter. Influence is five still hours. What's Schultz? Br- I'll say five hours. You just got you just got a whole bag full of sunglasses yeah. <laughs> until I'm calling. I mean, Seppa. the thing is that you, you're not really bartering because you're bringing everything that you need. Like you're bringing, like you're going camping. You're bringing all the shit that you need to go camp. 
And then you might bring like a little gift. Like, like I brought a bunch of like fucking Starburst and high chews and shit. Okay. And I would walk around well, and like, yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, <laughs> what, what, what did I say? Yeah, and yeah. then you just go around and you give them out to people and people are like, oh, nice, thanks. And then you'll walk around and someone will be like, dude, you want a grilled cheese? And they'll just like give it to you. It's not really a trade. It's more just like, hey, come and bring a gift. Yeah. And so people are just giving shit to people yeah. all the time. Right. See, I just see well, some creep in some fishnet fucking shirt giving grilled cheese for blowjobs. <laughs> yeah. That's all I see. Well, the blowjobs, you don't weirdos. have to. You don't have to. I did it for the love of the game. You know what I mean? But yeah, you don't have you to. You weren't even hungry. Yeah, no, not at all. Dude. You're not you required to. You squeezing the cream cheese. <laughs> no, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, like that's dude. the that's how it works. You just kind of show up. Everyone's giving something. Yeah. And it's actually kind of fun. I mean, you're wincing at the idea of giving. Yeah. Why? Why are you wincing? What? I. It's just the whole like fucking like that it's, mud hippie shit. Like uh, like, mud hippie <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Dude, honestly, like fucking, what's the one in the '60s? The big one? Oh, Woodstock. Woodstock. Yeah. Hey, get the that fuck shit was out gross. of here. Dude. That one. I looked at pictures of that. I was like, oof. Yeah, that looks you know? fun. Dude. Oh God. I don't know. That's, that's a little. That's a little. I've rough. seen your bedroom. <laughs> it's Woodstock. <laughs> Woodstock '99. Dude. Yeah, no, you're you know, doing do... shrooms all the time. You are Woodstock, dude. You're no, doing a Woodstock. miniature Woodstock. But I got a lot of North Face gear, so it protects me from the dirt and mud. <laughs> that's what you're wearing that when you do shrooms alone. <laughs> you just go full parka. No, dude, dude. I He's walk just in snow gear with the goggles on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just ready to go. Yeah. Dude, there is nothing on this earth that makes me feel better than being like completely winterized in like sub-zero conditions. I oh, agree with this. That is nice, actually. I was talking it to a buddy is, about this. Yeah. My favorite way to sleep is to imagine I'm in a tent on the side of a mountain, negative 10, and I'm in like a good thermal sleeping bag, and I'm just so cozy. Yes. Dude. But it's freezing out there. Yes. Yeah. Dude, this, is, this is how I trick my I can't insomnia. Find this, I can't find a comforter. I trick my insomnia. Every insom comforter I get, I sweat. I trick my insomnia. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, I'm up against the wall here. They have a thing I ordered for a second summer, specifically like summer... Comforter, breathy, airy. Yeah, no, no, no. How much are you sweating? Hot? Here's what you do, dude. I'm sweating. Like, I, I've never been in a room like this. You wanna? Know? The AC's blasting. It's cold. I'll sleep with the windows open in the dead of winter, and I got this comforter on, and I can't. I'm sweating. Here's a hack. Here's a hack. You take right the insert. <laughs> you take the insert. What's the deal with comforter? <laughs> you take the insert out, and you just use the duvet cover. Uh, During the spring and summer, that's not bad. Fall and winter, you insert the the, the duvet insert. Yeah, that's why you sweat. There's I'm no reason summer for or that. Winter, summer or winter, I'm sweating. Yeah, do you sleep with just a top sheet, or do you go full duvet? I'm, I'm, I've been scaling down. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm about to be just. <laughs> he, top sleeps, sheet. he sleeps on top of the. But sheets I need the weight <laughs> with a backpack on. I need, I, in order for me to dream properly, I need I need weight on top of me. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> just, I can't just, have a light. Just a man's love. Just kind of <laughs> yeah. you. I need something uh, weighing yeah. me down. Wait, so you know? are you like a weighted blanket guy? Like oh, in the winter? Yeah, <laughs> I love weight, but I can't I can't afford it because I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm caught. I'm in. Yeah. A, I'm just fucked. This yeah. is like someone saying, like, I want to be hugged by my mom, but like, I, I hate it. <laughs> yeah. Don't sound like this is that alien to you. You love cuddling, but you sweat when you oh, do it. Oh, I need to be cuddled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. But, but you embrace the sweating, though. You're like, that's a part of it. No, you don't. No. You give up when it's No, I, but I control my temperatures internally. No, <laughs> internally you can't. You can't help it. Oh I no, you can't with meditation. I run super hot. Yeah, with <laughs> mushrooms <laughs> and meditation. You I'm go for any man, they'll teach you how to do it. No, I leave my feet out for a bit. My feet have to be exposed. I need one little veil. Feet exposed? You know, like Jesus was buried. They like, put that veil over him. Like Buddy the Elf? Just yeah. feet sticking out of the bed? Feet out. <laughs> Dude, head and feet? That's your whole temperature gauge. A moisture kills, though. Once the feet start sweating, you stick them out there, they freeze to death. Yeah, tuck them back in. I know, but I can't. It's too much it's, rotation. It's, you're, you gotta you're wake you're up controlling to the temperature of the oil before a deep fry. That's all it is. <laughs> I just want I want I want to be bivouacked with him in sub zero temperatures in yeah, a nice yeah, yeah. fucking yeah, yeah. swaddled bag. on a mountainside. Yeah. 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 What do, what do you think that is for you though? Like just like repressed homosexuality or something? Like, why, like why, why does it have to be why gay? Are you so because hot, you said though. bivouac. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bivouac, that's what it is. I'll, I'll start there. <laughs> when you fucking camp mountainside, it's a bivouac. But you just have this like just heat burning inside of you. I do. That needs to get out. Yeah. In the form of something. You know what? I've, I've, it's something I've had actually, this is recent. You don't even know about this. Oh, shit. <laughs> you got a wife? In my dreams, <laughs> in my dreams recently, I've started fucking, which I never have done. What? I've always not been able to make it Get work, it up. Even if it's like I'm you hard. You can't get it up in the naked. dream? No, no, I'm hard. They're naked, but like, I, they're like, I'm not interested. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> in a dream? Oh, my God. Yeah. First of all, this is a nightmare, yeah. and also that's rape. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? No, well, no, do you still I, go no, through I'm it? Sure they're, they're into like, it now. I'm not they're into it now. 
Oh, okay. In my dreams, but end up winning fights in my dreams. I never would say, would never with the dreams. women. You're no, no other people. <laughs> okay. Because normally I normally if I yep. try to punch someone in a dream, my fist just like yep. dies. Zero. Dude, my, I'm such a. Have you ever kicked someone's ass in a football. dream? No, I'm. I, no one wants to fight me in real life or a dream. I'm like you've never. I got a, a good rep in both realms, really. Like I, my street, my. That's a good person. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. what's that like? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. You got you got a bunch of merchandising, and merch deals in yeah. the dream world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a lot of dream. I got a lot of dream sponsors, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and they're cool with me. They yeah. like me over there. There's yeah. not, like not really any bad yeah. blood. Imagine dreaming that everybody would be loves so you. Funny. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's just a, that's a nightmare. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, look who showed up. <laughs> this guy's great. <laughs> That'd be so sick if in your real life you were like a hardcore just artist but in your dream life you're just a sellout corporate <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm sure that you're always nine to five making bank yeah. just yeah. clocking yeah. in finance dude yeah, yeah. dude it's my like, nightmares oh. are like i can't hit somebody on a button hook like i can't throw a football oh, and you're, you're, i wake up sweating like yeah. you pussy dude yeah yeah <laughs> you, can, you couldn't connect that guy okay. were, were you just, a quarterback in high school well, yeah okay so yeah. you have you were able to do Did this you in real football life in high school? yeah really yeah it's quarterback <sighs> Yeah, he's quarterback. You didn't fucking know that, dude. Okay. And homecoming kid. Toss, dude. I know you can throw the ball. I got a nice pill, dude. I know you can throw the ball. I got a nice pill. Man. Unless you're in REM sleep, 5 a.m. Yeah. And then you're just fucking... And that's when everything fucking can't connect falls the dot, apart, dude. dude. <laughs> falls <laughs> apart. <laughs> just like our ad reads. <laughs> dude, dude, I can't hit the receiver. Blowing a lead in the fourth quarter. You're like, uh, what am I doing, uh, dude? <laughs> I, I have mean, that's that exhausting. all the time. Well, like, like I because I, pl I played sports in college, and I always have, I like, once, two, three times a year, I will have a dream where I'm back in college... And I'm getting all the gear again. Oh, yeah. yeah it's like yeah. updated. Mm. And they're like, yeah, dude, you still had like a year of eligibility left. Like, you're good. You can play. Oh. But I'm like, fuck, I'm out of shape, dude. Like, <laughs> and I'm like getting on the bus. And I'm like, like sooner or later, someone's going to like be like, dude, you cannot play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're on mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're but, dude, just but dude, I'm literally like. Cookies by Carol on the back yeah. of the bus. He's at the college. I'm like, dude, this is not a dream. Like, you drunkenly went to the school. <laughs> You thought it'd be like Rudy. You're like, dude, let me play. Let me walk yeah, yeah. on. I remember the code to the locker room. I'm in there. I'm just yeah. trying on. Like, come on, dude. <laughs> Wait, but so you're having actual nightmares where you're, or dreams now where you're having successful I'm sex. I'm finally doing things. Is it yeah. women that you know? <laughs> finally. <laughs> I mean, the, the relief in it. I'm finally. I'm becoming the man I always knew I could be. Dude. I'm fulfilling my potential. It does feel like I'm a big step. I'm finally doing things in my dreams. I'm finally having sex. I can't figure this shit out. They're not running through the woods anymore. They're like. Yeah. Down. <laughs> well, you got to start somewhere, yeah. and it should be in the world that you control. Yeah. yeah. Wait. So, yeah. are these women you know, or is yeah. this? Oh, uh, not in my personal life. <laughs> Wait, <what? laughs> it's like celebrities. Jesus. You're banging celebrities. Yeah. yeah. I'm doing good. Wait, what's the last? This dude? week, I'm doing good. Yeah. Wait, yeah. who is mo your most recent lay? Let it out. Uh, I don't know any of this. this, is <laughs> yeah, this is so Why fun. do you do this on our podcast? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's it's very right. interesting. Yeah, he saves it for the tent, baby. <laughs> you shut the fuck up, Blitz. <laughs> I don't know, dude. You get, yeah, you get me in the tent, you give me a couple sodas. <laughs> I'll make all living room look like this, dude. <laughs> You start spinning about girls you raped. Let me get another one of those beers. I didn't. Uh, God damn it! I'm defending myself in my own dream. Yeah, I'm not raving. Anyway. You can make it. That's up, tonight's dude. dream is gonna be me in a courtroom. Yeah. <laughs> it was innocent fun. Yeah. None of it's real. We're both drinking. Yeah, she just, said it was just okay. like money wasn't real, Mr. O'Connor. <laughs> you go to prison. Things that happen dude. here, Matt. That, yeah. That's actually a nightmare. It's reliving dude. a podcast you did, dude. Oh, dude, in your dream. Imagine you get a sentence, and every time you dream, you're just in jail. You're like, oh, fuck, dude. I don't want to go to sleep because I have to serve out the rest of my time. This is awful. Dude, that's how I go back to sleep when I, like, when I can't sleep. I think about the football field, the baseball diamond, basketball court, and I walk through, like, my snapshot visuals of, like, the moments when I was, like, important, and I just see... <laughs> <laughs> a full spit take. <laughs> the moments when I was important. Sixth grade, baseball diamond. <laughs> I'm playing kickball. Hold right? when things matter. Oh, after These care. are the moments that make you. <laughs> These shift your personality and your character, you cunt. <laughs> So there I was. <laughs> <laughs> I could smell the wet leaves. Oh yeah, my yeah. god! Right. No, but honestly, intramural got, softball. What happened? But even like the po all right, let's let's go vacations. I'll go like to Poconos. <laughs> we used to baseball? go to Poconos. No, no, no. Like yeah, I'm not gonna I'll lie, that is intense. I'll take the cousins are around. Yeah, no, no, oh, cousins. Gosh. What are you talking about? I'm just saying. cousins are invited to the Pocono house. <laughs> Sleep three. We have seven. <laughs> so I just envision my feet like, like walking around, like nostalgic areas. So it's not about the sport. It's about what that 
impacted your mind at that point. Uh, yeah. It makes you and feel like good. How much, it makes you feel good. It makes you settled and grounded. Because mm. your anxiety, my anxiety is so high, I'll like wake up out of nowhere and be like worried about some bullshit. Heartbeat. And then, yeah, I'll go back to something that was like, I don't know, intense. Yeah, dude, fucking. I'll go back to my bedroom with my fucking brother or like fighting with my, like, I'll see like the carpet in my 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 bedroom that I shared with my brother. Like I'll, Whoa. like I go back to like certain visuals that are just like snapshots. Yeah. The texture of something. Yeah. Dude, did you, I, I had, uh, I had a dream recently where I was back. I don't know if you did this, but I, we used to play football when we were kids next to the high school football game. Like, Oh kind yeah, of yeah. Under mm-hmm. into the side yeah, of the yeah, bleachers. Yeah, 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 and we yeah, yeah. would play like the kids across town and it was like fucking intense. You know? <laughs> yeah. It was like tackle. And your brother was playing. Yes. And then yeah. the game would end and your mom would be like, What did you do? You're covered. Yeah, you're like, I fucking won. Yeah, 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 like, you yeah, weren't yeah. watching? Yes. Dude. <laughs> and it was. It was like And you're barefoot in cargo pants, yeah. like oh, wearing like <laughs> yeah. it's the shittiest yeah, football I had ever. For the game, yeah, it's foam. It's a foam. It's a baseball. I remember that vividly. And I was the worst at football. I was terrible. Dude, we used to play on like concrete and my friend Bailey's dad would play with us and he was like a real intense football dad and then when I would play with him he would treat me like his kid and be like dude what are you fucking doing out there? oh man and I'm like eight years old I've never played football in my life I was like I don't I'll be honest man I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> I've never yeah, done yeah, this yeah. before do this. Yeah, he was worse. going hard on me yeah what's up guys we're gonna take a break really quick because you need an attorney yeah yeah you do I'm sure you're wondering Mark why are you talking so slow and so sultry because I've gotten some feedback on some of our previous ad reads. I've been told that maybe my energy is too high. Maybe it's too jarring for the subject matter. So today I've decided to be a bit more subdued. And I want to tell you about the greatest personal injury law firm to ever exist. And those are the good people at Morgan and Morgan. Yeah, that's right. Let's say you slipped, you fell. Say you got rear-ended. Let's say, let's say you got rickets. I don't know. Maybe someone gave it to you. Maybe you got shingled. Maybe, I don't even know if you can sue for, for chlamydia. I don't know the laws around that type of thing. But I know who does. And those are the good people at Morgan & Morgan. This is why I trust Morgan & Morgan. And you could too. They are the largest personal injury law firm in the country. Yeah. 100 offices, 800 attorneys. And this is the greatest thing about them, okay? So first off, they're trusted. That's a fact, all right? Secondly, it's so easy to submit a claim. Eight clicks or less. You can go on their website. You don't have to go through all these pages of sketchy attorneys, people you don't even know. You're going through all these pages. Like, you're like, who is this guy? This guy's going to rip me off. It is so hard to find an attorney, especially as a young dude. I'm like, I don't know anything about law. I don't know how to find someone. But here's what's nice about Morgan & Morgan. Eight clicks or less, and you could submit a claim. Yeah. Eight clicks or less. It's amazing. It's like ordering food. It's like ordering something off like Amazon. It's easy. It's simple. You don't have to call a bunch of random numbers, get put through to a secretary that doesn't give a shit. It's very simple. And then here's the other amazing thing. It's free unless you win. That's right. I'm sure you're thinking, oh, if the service is so good and they're so trusted, it's going to cost me an absolute fortune just to have them look at my claim. Hey, they don't charge you a single thing unless they win your case. It's a pretty good deal. You pay $0 unless they win your case. So if you're ever injured, you could check out Morgan & Morgan. Their fee is free unless they win. For more information, go to ForThePeople, F-O-R, ThePeople.com slash Gagnon. That is ForThePeople.com slash Gagnon, G-A-G-N-O-N, or dial pound law. That's pound 529 from your cell phone. Stop blowing all your stacks, all right? You don't got to blow your stacks. If you're ever injured, that's for the people, F O R, the people.com slash Gagnon, G A G N O N, or dial pound law, pound 529 from your cell phone. Now let's get back to the show. There's nothing <laughs> worse than that dad. Dude. That is so intense. There's two options. The kid, because I have multiple children versions of this. Mm. <laughs> yeah. But where the dad is like such a fucking like, like yearbook hero. Oh, like yeah. He never closed the yearbook. <laughs> yeah. And he wants his son. To be whatever better than him in sports. Yeah, he never closes the yearbook. He sleeps imagining his yeah, 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 his highlight. Yeah, 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 he's fucking who makes his yearbook. He's yeah, on yeah. his huddle, dude. Yeah, just fucking going he through. puts over his feet when the cold. This is open yearbook. I'm 67. No, that's my my favorite thing in the world is the most athletic dad marrying the most unathletic woman. And the kids getting just all unathletic. Well, genes. this is what I'm yeah. saying. Uh, it's so my favorite thing in the world. There's two <laughs> dudes. No, I hate it so much. <laughs> I love it so yeah, much. And the dad yeah. just can't make sense of it. There's two sides of the spectrum. One is the kid is just doesn't have it, and the dad's just like, 
fucking do it. You will have it. Yeah. So my dad was the president of our youth football organization for baseball, basketball, and football. And his best friend, his son was my my year. Yeah. And he just immediately when you saw this kid, you're like, get off the field. Yeah. Write you're some not jokes. Do it. Maybe comedy <laughs> can work yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Start a podcast. <laughs> yeah. no, I, I, but like he beat him into like an aggressive state where like he was just fucked up. Yeah. He ruined them. Yeah. He yeah. fucking ruined them. And the other side of the coin is the dad that, that actually has an athletic son, but isn't a good father because he's beating the same insensibilities into him. Of like, uh, be better, be paint stronger. Better. It's like write stories. He would relate to. <laughs> he wants to be a DJ. You didn't even journal tonight. <laughs> You're not gonna make it into electronic music scene <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. if you keep this up. Dude. <laughs> you have no chance, dude. <laughs> it is like that movie where he just slapped the fuck out of that drummer, dude. That's the same thing with sports. Yeah. yeah What's yeah. that movie where that fucking Whiplash? Yeah, Whiplash. Yeah, yeah. They put so much pressure on him. It's so like, dude, he would be like, great if you fucking chill. Just chill the yeah. fuck out. This yeah. kid was so athletic. He was yeah. so unbelievably athletic. But three sport, yeah, and his dad just fucked him up from all the all the abuse. Yeah, I was also like that when I was a kid. When I would see like an unathletic kid, I would always be like, "Why don't they, Why don't they just understand how to move?" Yeah, <laughs> dude, it's like Joey Chestnut. We were watching, it was only because like my dad we were watching the fucking hot dog competition. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it got rained out. It got rained out. Then he ran it back. And then he ran it back. But dude. like, he doesn't even know how to clap. Like, he'll be like, <laughs> dude, it was, he does the most awkward shit. It's like, you how do you get this far in life? Not like, look, look, this is maneuvering. Yeah. This yeah, is yeah, like yeah, figuring yeah, out yeah. hand eye motor coordination, skills. Yeah. motor yeah. skills. Listen, yeah. Listeners like, at home, look up the Joey Chestnut <laughs> intro. It's fucking insane. It is that is bananas. A, that's a fucking alien. Yeah, 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 that's an alien inside of a human body. Yeah, and he it's never not learned only in the in the government, dude. Yeah. I, well, did you see the girl on the airplane? But see, that's how I felt until I, I someone asked me to dance, and then I was like, I don't know how to fucking <laughs> you move. You gotta hit your giddy up. Yeah, <laughs> I can oil that up. Why aren't you I, working on the the Charleston? I am working on the Charleston. No, no, he's not. Yeah. He's I lying. No, no, no. You said you were working on. It. You well, said finally you guys got are, one week. They're out of the house. What? One, two week. Two weeks. Dude, we're we're gonna be in fucking Wildwood. Yeah, I got plenty of time. I mean, it sounds like you have two weeks. That sounds yeah. like a very exact amount of time. It sounds like all of us in high school yeah. going, what time What time's that report come? <laughs> yeah, 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 the exam is <laughs> waiting. <laughs> if you, you cram the Charleston, dude, you're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, when do yeah. you have to, why I do you have to know I can cover all of Chinese history in a week. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what, why do you have to know the Charleston? Uh, cause we, we got drunk with Kevin Ryan. He bet us a thousand dollars. Bet, yeah. Bet Chris. Bet me a thousand dollars. I couldn't learn the Charleston by August. Yeah, so we, oh, we have like a, yeah. we got a, they got a bay house uh, in Wildwood. <laughs> Do you know the Charleston? No. You, can you dance? I don't know. I bet you can. That, I mean, you know I don't know. Look, look at his hair. You know I mean, like, like, I think very subtle sort of like. Uh, if you can, I'll never talk to you again. <laughs> <laughs> if this is a facade, I'll be very I don't, I don't know like dance moves, but I know how to like, yeah. like, like I, know how to, I, I know how to rhythmically move in a crowd yeah. of people. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah I'm yeah, not yeah, fucking yeah. chewing on glizzies all day. You know what I mean? Like I have a little bit of uh, uh, yeah, social can, awareness. Yeah. Well, but I don't know moves though. Like when you say dance, you just mean like kind of fit in. I know how to dance in the way I know how to like hang out. I actually you know I mean? have a like, I have a hang up with this where like I wish I took like dance classes, dude, because <laughs> I got rhythm. I can yeah. dance. I remember hearing you can attest to this. I yeah, can dance. I remember hearing it. Well, I forget the guy's name. It was like a famous like Steelers wide receiver took ballet. Oh really? Yeah, but that's like, like a college that. thing to like meet girls. It's not a real. Yeah. What? Right? Like, yeah, yeah. I know all these dude, guys that took co co yoga. college ballet. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's like, it's not sometimes, real. sometimes if like if I, there's been times, it's not been a lot, but there's sometimes where I've been like shooting a scene in like a friend's like short film or something, and I yeah hit like specific blocking and have like a energy, and it's like. That's athletic as fuck. It's yeah. like surprisingly <laughs> yeah. hard yeah. to be like in exactly the right space. Well, listen, a wide receiver but not taking that class about it. makes sense. Yeah. If you're just a plumber going, I'm going to take hot yoga. <laughs> Why can't like he? You're just trying to get laid, dude. Yeah, exactly. What, he doesn't want to What's move? What's his purpose? He wants to move through the world in a different way. He moves from a fucking recliner to a bed. <laughs> <laughs> to his not fucking... after ballet. <laughs> yeah. After he's ballet, twirling, he can, he's yeah. twirling he can in plie there. into the bed. Yeah, that's impressive. <laughs> when you do that, that's impressive. But like, what do you want to dance for? Like, yeah. You already have, you have a great girl. Yeah, you have your life sort of figured. Like, what do you need a dance move it's for? About... I just wait. I wish it's almost like I, I talked to. Um, I was talking to Soder about this about. Uh, Tattoos, like so. I'm 43, so mm -hmm. I'm older. In the 90s, if you had a tattoo growing up, you're truly a piece of shit. 
<laughs> like, no, that was an identifier. Like, you're a scumbag. Your parents don't love you. Yeah. You're a wild child. Okay. And it was 99.9% accurate. Just any tattoo? Any tattoo. <laughs> you didn't get tattoos in fucking 93 mm -hmm. at 13. Yeah. And now yeah. kids do it for, for image and fashion. Mm -hmm. I wish I was a fucking a neck to, I want it all. Tattoos? Yeah, I dude. I talked to McKeever about this. I'm like, write me a role mind. where every day I gotta sit <laughs> in a tent like this and just fucking paint me up, drill for two hours. Would you actually want to get blasted? That's, yeah, that's every role Tommy oh, wants. He's like, I want to be smoking a cigarette. I want to be riding yes. a motorcycle. Oh yes. yeah, dude, oh, you want to be between the pines. You want to be Ryan Reynolds, dude. You want to yeah. be between the pines, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what place, a great movie! Place, place <laughs> what a great movie. Pines, that yeah. fucking that movie is so yeah, good. That's it. That's how you but see yourself. I think. Yes. Yeah, Shout yeah. out Ben Mendelsohn for stealing oh, that God. movie. Ben Mendelsohn, <laughs> what a talent! The best. What a talent! He's the fucking yeah. yeah that guy yeah. doesn't rape girls in his dream. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He you does in real, so? <laughs> <laughs> does real yeah, yeah. life. I don't know if that's true. Okay, yeah. Don't sue me. I was yeah, just yeah, riffing. cut that. <laughs> oh, ben Mendelsohn is my favorite. Wait, who's a better dancer? You two, you think? If if you if we're all at a wedding, I dance more. He's better at dancing. Oh wait! So you could like, just I'll have left out the first part. Right? He likes to move. He's he's, he's a little bit. I'm more a I'm a sleeper in the corner because dude, my brothers bullied the fuck out of me. We got fucked. But up. I got moves, baby. We got <laughs> fucked up. In, <laughs> I got moves. <laughs> we got fucked up in Boston, and Tommy started pulling stuff out that I was like, "Where the f what? The That's, fuck why? Is That's why. That's why you don't show too much. Oh, but where are you? When it matters, you love to be. Where are you practicing? Yeah, yeah. practicing. It's just it's athleticism. It's built in you. Yeah. Please. <laughs> this, is, this is coming from the guy who set up a Johnny Carson show in his bathroom when he was a kid. You're Wait, practicing somewhere. That's why I got hemorrhoids. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, for the same thing? <laughs> what happened? The stress no, so of the show. Dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, dude, every cow. night. <laughs> 90 minutes every I night. I was Johnny Carson. <laughs> yeah. I was the cow. People don't know what I, I go through. I was Johnny. <laughs> yeah. No, we didn't. I am Queens. Was, was nowhere to, they, we had one television and then the bathroom. I shared a bed with my brother growing up mm -hmm. and a bedroom. And the only space you had was the bathroom. So when I would go to the bathroom, I would like play. Yeah. Decompress. So from a very young child, I would take it, uh, an item, if vapes were around, <laughs> and I would sit on the toilet and the knees would touch the tub. Yeah. Like you didn't have any room. And the curtain would be like Johnny Carson because my father watched Johnny Carson. So I pretended I was a host of a late night show and I would describe the item. So I would take like a sneaker or a new book and I would just talk. And then sit on the toilet until the door pounded, until my brother and my father was like, get the fuck out of there. And that's how I blossomed flowers out yeah. of my ass. <laughs> I think that's true. I hid in the bathroom. I hid in the bathroom a ton too. Yeah. yeah. Did you have hemorrhoids? No. Well, well, yeah, you not enough. You didn't have to yeah. sit on the toilet. I for that. No, I wasn't sitting on the toilet. <laughs> yeah. I was talking in the mirror. Oh, okay. Yeah, you could have just stood up, I think. Yeah. But I would play with toys. I well, would play I had with to plates. act like, because there was no locks on the doors. Oh, so, so that they was pop the in. Outside you can't the, just be standing. My mother and father's room, there was no locks. Uh -huh. So I, they could just open the door. So if I was not on the toilet, they'd be like, come on, get out. I got to. See, that's fucked up. And how are the ratings on the show? Do you see, like, <laughs> I've been looking back, like the Patreon comments aren't that good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're very aggressive. There actually probably would be an audience for this. Just yeah. like a child on the toilet. Yes. Just, like, there'd probably be a lot of people yeah. on the internet that would pay money to see this. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're just doing it for free. It's like, so, that's crazy. I'm giving it to them. It is so funny. You're yeah. getting Content back to your bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're getting back to your bedroom and just like, yeah, you can't win them every day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some nights good, some nights yeah. bad. <laughs> I didn't have it today. Just smoking a cigarette outside. Yeah. Oh, God damn that it. peanut butter and jelly didn't sit right. Yeah, I got to fire these yeah. riders, dude. Last night, last they night they loved about? the fishing rod. Tonight the stapler didn't go over. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally what happened. <laughs> Did you ever do this? What, like, what was like your fantasy world that you would go to when you were a kid? Uh, like, where you like make up some shit, like in a fort or whatever. I I never did that. In fact, <laughs> <laughs> he's, doing, he's doing it now. Yeah. In fact, in fact. I remember I found out that my brother had an imaginary friend, like late, it, like when I was in high school. <laughs> How old his is wife, he? dude. <laughs> She's very nice. I met her. <laughs> yeah. he, had a, he, he was like, yeah, I had an imaginary friend when I was a kid. And I was like, fuck, dude. I'm fucked. <laughs> I'm the least creative person there ever was. I never, why would I, I didn't never thought of even inventing someone to hang out This with. is the danger of having two children and one children. You got to get trips. Because uh, yeah, they all yeah. balance each other out. If there's only two, the younger one's like, you're in the shadows and you think everything makes sense. And mm. it's, the first kid is meant to just 
barrel through drywall with their forehead. They're fucking monkeys. <laughs> Dude. The middle child is trying to adjust. And, yeah, but yeah, yeah. at the same time, you're in the shadow going, am I as good as fucking Steve? It's comparative. You yeah. get a third in there. Everybody's on their fucking toes. Yeah. I yeah. begged. We're all I, bro, <laughs> ballet. I yeah. begged my mom. To have another kid. Yeah. Wait, really? To kill oh, it? Begged her. No. <laughs> yeah. No. Try to stomp something out of it. Yeah. I begged her. You should have begged your dad. It had yeah, nothing yeah. to do with her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should know from your dreams. It's yeah. like, it's kind of the dad's. I was, a couple it was holes very rare counties. I could get an audience with my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I beg to differ. Your father loves me. I didn't have the political connections to get an audience with my dad. If you're a local you congress father for a sit down. Like, dude, you talk to dad, so yeah, he's yeah. free. Yeah, can you put know. in a word for me? Yeah. <laughs> trying to, yeah. Trying as soon as the broccoli's done, can I talk to dad? <laughs> <laughs> so the idea of telling him, like, yo, you should knock up mom is just out of the question. Yeah, my mom was like, no way. Why, why, yeah. I think she was, she was, <laughs> I remember her going like, oh, Whoa. why, you want a little brother? Oh, God, I didn't think that was going that way. <laughs> I remember her going, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're just in the other room going, I hope this, yeah, yeah, I hope yeah. this lands. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I just going to stick, dude. I just remember when I asked her, I was like, can you have another kid? Yeah. And she was like, you want another, like, brother? And I was like, yeah. Yeah. And she was like, why? And I remember just being like, because... I feel like Tom and I could make him like a, like a good person. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a bad sales pitch. I'll be honest. Yeah. Like, if I'm going to try, well, he's also convince- six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can, you to- give a dog to a six year old. Yeah. Like, can we get another one? They don't fucking. He's <laughs> yeah. retarded. But the idea of trying to convince your mom to be like, dude, we can really shape this one up. Yeah. Like, oh, can, yeah, yeah. This, this next one's gonna have star potential. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, okay? yeah. He's not gonna be like me. I yeah. promise. I look. I know your own too. Okay. <laughs> but look, the third one's gonna be crazy. Those are the the only two times I ever made serious requests for my parents was that one and my mom, please have another kid and the other one was i got caught sucking my girlfriend's tits in eighth grade by her dad and i went home and i was like we should move to another town yeah. <laughs> oh my god because i was like i worried about the phone call and the repercussions Dude, Wait, so s- immediately after you get caught you just go home and you're like hey we well, gotta skip i was town. like do you ever think about moving like we don't need to live here <laughs> and and my mom was like what and I was like, I don't know, just like this town. Yeah. We don't need to be here. I feel like Dude. we kind of sucked everything <clears throat> yeah, dry. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to tell the story. I was I like, I- Tom's in co- my brother Tom is in college. It's like, we don't need to, I don't want to be here. What are you guys doing here? It was like junior That's prom. Hilarious. <laughs> A very similar story. Not, it's close in terms of like emotional instability. It was like junior prom. We go to this girl Dana's house and we're all like fucking around. And I went to the laundry room with my then girlfriend. And I, I put out a jellyfish worth of sperm <laughs> on the floor. Dude, you can't tell that's a lot of a lion's mane. It was like it was, <laughs> it was his what hair, size? but, but cum. <laughs> Think about his hair. It's all over of cum, Whoa. all over the dryer. And the dad came in. The lights are on in the the room, and like he just looks down. And of course, I mean he must. Wait, you were jerking off in there? No, we were playing around, and she spit my bird. Okay. Yeah, she made it throw up. So, <laughs> my he bird walked puked. into you and a girl in the yes, my laundry. girlfriend in the yeah, laundry yeah. room. Well, the aftermath. Yeah, yeah. it's Dana's After father. A little spin cycle. Yes, yeah. and it's just a blob on the floor. Because I'm not beating off five times a day anymore. I got a fucking, I got some of the tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, you I'm, I'm save saving it. up. You gotta save yeah, it. yeah. So he just looked at it. From what? From my? This is one of those like snapshots. Snapshots come with fear. Or happiness. That's it, right? So, like, you have a visual sensation and a, a picture when you are scared the fucking shit. Or you're happy as hell. I have all of my greatest memories and lowest points of my life. I can, I'll sketch you the color of the background <laughs> so of the he, imagery. He came in. He walks and, in. This- and, and he looks, obviously, right in both your eyes. He sees something. And then we scare you up with a blanket. And, and then, then he looked at the yeah, floor. Yeah, he looked at the floor. And then slipped. <laughs> <laughs> I think he got stuck, actually. Like, <laughs> That's how we got out of that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a fucking... Ooh, yeah. That was cold. Yeah. Like There's a Charlie Chaplin <laughs> yeah. He fucking hit a banana peel on the way. Yeah. Imagine that's how I killed her dad. <laughs> <laughs> slipped on my gum. I'm your daddy now. I love that, that freeze frame from what's that show <laughs> with the fucking two Confederate guys? Like the seventies, where they like slide across the hood of the car. Oh, Dukes of Hazard. Oh, Dukes. Dukes. <laughs> Dukes. <laughs> this is a freeze frame of you and that girl. <laughs> and the dad. 
<laughs> one of the old boys up to this day. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. This one, yeah. what are you oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> of <laughs> I go home to the like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I go home to and Steve. Like, you guys ever think about week. moving towns? <laughs> 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 I just came in a basement. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so what did he actually do? He came in and was like, hey. He just let, he let it go, and I, I could never look at him again. Oh, Someone really? spilled the detergent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I mean, so kind of look like it detergent. Like bleach, Joe. I might have told this story what? before. This is a come. Wait, come, your cum smells like bleach. All cum smells like bleach. <laughs> no, it does <laughs> not. You might be impotent, Tommy. No, it does <laughs> not. Google it. Your cum does not smell like bleach. Google dude. it. I'm gonna Google it, okay? Because I promise it. you. If if this comes back saying cum smells like bleach, <sighs> what does the Google <laughs> search? Doctor, does, I don't know what, exactly what I said. Does cum smell like bleach? Let's find out. Semen normally smells like ammonia, bleach, or chloride. It's <laughs> a shit ass old bitch. No, it does. not. Yes, it does. Well, semen is, is semen smells like chlorine or bleach. So they're not. That's without. But the sperm, semen is one percent sperm, ninety nine percent other compounds. So what you might they? not have enough sperm. Yeah, you're all <laughs> semen. Yeah, I'm all bleach. You might be all bleach. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you come on your shirt, what what happens to it? It dies. <laughs> yeah, it turns all white, dude. Yeah. I burn it immediately. Yeah. I don't want. I'm not ready for kids. If you come on a girl's face, is she like ah, ow, ooh, <laughs> ah? That that is, is it, supposed to happen. She just sizzles. Eyes. Yeah. Cum smells like ammonia. Not mine. Is that why like girls all spit butter. it out? Is that it why? can't be. Well, actually, you don't want to drink bleach, dude. I gotta spitting say, out, I gotta, spitting is the rudest thing you can do. I'm sorry. I don't mind it. I love it, how that's rude to you. That's as opposed so to coming rude. in a girl's mouth. <laughs> it's like take this. Spitting out I've already came in their mouth if they're spitting it. Swallowing makes sense. Dude, if after I ate a girl's pussy, I went... <laughs> <laughs> no, she's... Dude, and I had to, like, run to the bathroom and fucking just rinse out with a peroxide or well, something. That would dude, be fucking rude. I, if she uh, threw six ounces of, of bleach in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, if you got some ammonia. Like, oh, I'm getting more than six ounces. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's better, baby. <laughs> I don't mind it. You've been dancing. It's I'm, kinda, down, I'm down there snorkeling. It's kind of like a, it's like a wine tasting. Mm. You know, if she spits it out, she's like, mm, "This is a 96." Yeah, you know what I mean, like I kind of, I almost see, I've, I'm flattered in a in way. Yeah, 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 exactly. You're like no, 85. Yeah. <laughs> Did John yeah. Wayne just suck my dick? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. This is this is a story. It's kind of similar, but it's a. Uh, I was with a girl in high school. I, I might have told this before, but we were snuggling in bed, like kind of spooning, and her friend was there, just like this other girl, and she was like kind of egging us on. This is like like freshman year maybe like eighth grade or some shit and she's like yeah you guys should uh you guys should start dating whatever so like, we're like kind of spooning yeah. i've never dated anyone at this point and i'm i'm a sweater i'm known for sweating i'm one of the sweatiest people maybe Same. to ever exist i'm i was born a swamp ass i live in the swamp ass i'm just fucking <laughs> I live in yeah dude i'm f living in florida my whole Noted life by it. Dude, literally, dude. <laughs> like colors in the in the summer yeah you merely adopted dude, the so sweat this even my this like my swamp ass and monkey butt in these gray well, dude, the shorts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. I also have a deep ass. I'm known for the depth of my I ass. got a deep crack, too. Yeah. Yeah. Are you really? Are you caked yeah. up, dude? Yeah, yeah. Are you, He's caked up. Are you buddy? Caked He's are you, caked up. You're the cake boss? <laughs> yeah, dude, I didn't know that. Ball. Yeah, I he is the cake boss. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Two, five, six, seven, cake I think ball. that's yeah. a, honestly why girls, like, any girl likes me. Is they imagine their daughter having my ass? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that's what it is. Dude. Christ. Yeah. yeah. What kind of scumbag? Would they <laughs> Not you, but the woman. Just the way thinking of if the I way. If I mate with well, this, maybe my daughter will have a yeah, fat yeah. ass. Yeah, my, it's the way my I look at girls' knees. <laughs> Wait, what? That I get. Yeah. Wait, you're trying to because you're afraid your girl will be like knock kneed or something? Yeah. Yeah. Clothespin legs. Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah, that's a rough Hell look. on earth. That's a tough yeah. look for sure. Yeah, underbite, clothespin legs. You get a slight. What kind of Philly chicks are you bringing back in? Dude. Dude, what are you talking about? <laughs> you got to run through the muck. <laughs> you got to sleep in the tent. Yeah, 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 yeah. Run in through the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I'm in the bed with this girl. I'm wearing yeah. gray pants, gray shorts, nice. and I am sweating. Okay. I am full. Like, I'm looking down at my thighs, and there's just streaks of sweat. And I'm like, oh shit. Holy and then my shirt's starting to sweat. I'm wearing a blue shirt. There's fucking, I mean, it's a cool outfit. And there's just fucking <laughs> dark blue. In the, and I'm like, oh God, I'm so sweaty. And I know if my thighs are streaking, my ass is reeking. Oh, I can't imagine. Yeah, I'm That's just, a water yeah. Pool. oh my God, yeah. dude. So I just fucking <laughs> out the room. And I like try to like fucking squirt out backwards so they can't see me. And I like fucking I hit a little Charleston move. Yeah, and yeah. then I pop you out. You close the door like a, <laughs> like a waiter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'll be right back. <laughs> and then I shut the door. And then I'm like, okay, what do I do? What do I do? I'm covered in sweat. So I'm like, uh, oh, here's what I'll do. I'm going to go to the little fridge where she has like the water spout in the fridge. 
and I'm going to spill water on me. And then I'm going to come back. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to come back and be like, dude, your like, fridge is just spewing water. It's crazy. Everywhere. It's crazy. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it also yeah. shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Your fridge fucking... Yeah, yeah. There's your fridge diarrhea so in my shoe yeah, right my now. Ass. What the hell? Yeah. So literally, I'm like pouring water. I'm like flicking it on myself. I'm filling up the cup. I got a little on my shirt, got a little on my shorts. I'm like, dude, this is these fucking dumb idiots. They're not even going to know what hit them. And then I'm, I'm finally, to sell it, I'm pouring a little bit of water on my sock. Just a little bit to just yeah. really sell the whole thing. Right. They're not yeah. going to believe that it just was up top. Yeah. yeah why yeah, would yeah, you? Right? Yeah. 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 So I'm pouring it on my sock. And as I'm pouring it, all of a sudden I hear from the side, what are you doing? <laughs> and I look up and both of them are standing there just like, watching you pour water all over yourself. And they're like, what are you doing? And I was like, I was just going to pull a prank on you guys. <laughs> what was the prank? I just yeah, yeah, was yeah. soaking wet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Ta-da! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. If I was wet. I'd be <laughs> yeah, I've been yeah. watching a lot of Practical Jokers. Okay, <laughs> and uh, what if I'm just soaking wet when I snuggle you? I don't know. I just came up with anything, and they were just like, My. "What?" And I was like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm soggy." Dude, some kid in grade Dude, school. Dude, that is. <sighs> and then I asked my parents to move towns. Yeah, <laughs> that was, dude, that was, yeah, that's the culmination. I, I think back like, in moments like that, and you're like, "Dude, if I just had the confidence to be sweaty." You could have just taken your clothes off. Right? You would have been right where you wanted it's to be. It's God's alley-oop. God is wingman in me. And I'm I, over here cock-blocking myself. I have a memory like that where I had to pee real bad. And I was hanging out with these two girls in a park. And I had to pee so bad. And I, instead of just pissing in a bush, I just held the pee for like forever. And to the point where I was like dancing around and like losing my mind. Yeah. Was like you get that grade. like tight rumble. Yeah, oh, yeah, God. yeah. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was acting like a fucking maniac. <laughs> Like for an hour yeah, holding yeah. this pee. Yeah, I've been there. And what happened? And then, no, and then eventually, like, we went back to one of their houses and, like, they were like looking for the key to get into their house. And I was like, open the door. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was, and I could have just been like, yeah, I'm going to go piss in that bush. Yeah. And they would yeah, all been like, like, oh, this guy's cool. This guy's cool as hell. And yeah. I would have pulled my dick out. Well, this is the mentality sweat. of, like, dealing with your own sweating behaviors. It comes with age and experience. So, like, things you'd be so insecure about. As you get older, you're like, I'm who I am. It takes so many years. During yeah. adolescence, you got to hide all that shit. Yeah. I went to school with this kid. Who, he pissed himself. So, in Catholic school, we had uh, uniforms. Khakis and a, you'd wear, like, a sweater, yeah, a shirt, a little, and tie. tie. Yep. Yeah. And this kid clearly wet himself. And his whole defense was, like, I was sucking on my shirt. So, he just went. Just like you did, he went plan. into the yeah, he went into the, the bathroom, like wet the tip of his shirt. I was like, I was just sucking on my shirt. Meanwhile, <laughs> he's covered in urine. <laughs> yeah, he, he reeks of piss. <laughs> yeah, there's bleach in his pants. Like, did you come in there? What is wrong with you, dude? There's a grass stain on his forehead. <laughs> yeah, but he just owned it. And yeah. He was just like, yo, I'm gonna fucking wiggle yeah. my way out of this thing. Well, that kid is dead. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, it's a sad story. Yeah, that's hard. That, that is hard. Yeah, to drink bleach. From. He died. Drink yeah. bleach. He <laughs> did. What's up, guys? We're going to take a break really quick because I got to tell you about one of the most interesting, innovative devices I've ever seen. Okay. Now, let me just paint it this way. Look, quitting a habit can be extremely difficult, especially a bad habit. Trying to stop all of your bad habits is very tough. I've done it before, and it's not always the easiest thing. Okay. Trying to go cold turkey is very challenging. And that's why. I've decided to try to turn my bad habits into just habits. Yeah, I'm taking the bad out of the habit. And that's why I want to tell you about Fume. Fume is really interesting. It's this innovative little uh, device, okay? Like, here's a picture of it. You can see it right here. What's really interesting about it is it has this little adjustable dial. It looks really cool. It's kind of fun to fidget with. Like, it actually feels super nice. And then here's what's interesting. I know it looks like maybe some other products you've seen before, but this one is very, very interesting because it uses no electronics. It's completely natural. Instead of vapor, it uses flavored air. And instead of harmful chemicals, fume uses all natural, delicious flavors. And I'm, I'm sure you're thinking, like, what does that mean, flavored air? Like, I remember the first time I heard that, I was like, flavored air is not a real thing. And then I tried it, and I was like, oh, I get what they're saying. Yeah, this is very refreshing. My favorite flavor is the mint flavor. It just is a deep breath of fresh air. It makes you feel, like, calm. It's an anxiety reducer, and it's completely natural, completely safe. It is awesome. I really enjoy it. And it's a great way to replace a bad habit with just a regular habit that can reduce your anxiety and make you feel good. It's awesome. It looks cool when you're holding it. No one comes up to you. I've had people come up to me and be like, dude, that thing's awesome. Can I try it? And I'm like, yeah, dude, it's just flavored air. And they're like, what? So why does it make you feel so good? Because it is just a regular habit that doesn't give you any of the harmful chemicals that some of the other bad habits might give you. So if you're interested, this is what I think you should do. 
I want you to check out the journey pack, okay? You can go to tryfume.com, that's T-R-Y, fume, F-U-M.com, and use the code GAGNON. And when you use that code, you can get 10% off the journey pack. Now, the journey pack is awesome. It's got everything you need to get started. And I'm sure you're thinking like, I don't know which one to get. Journey pack, it's simple. Everything you need, right in that little pack. It's gonna help you replace some bad habits and it's just gonna make you feel better. It looks cool, it feels cool. It's just a nice little fixation. It gets you going. It's your Anytime you're thinking, oh, I wanna do the bad thing, just do the regular habit. It's awesome. So if you're interested, go to tryfume, T-R-Y, fume.com and use the code GAGNON. Save 10% off when you get the journey pack. That is tryfume, tryfum.com. Use the code GAGNON to save an additional 10%. If you know me, you know I'm a natural person, borderline hippie. I know I look disgusting. I don't like putting stuff in my body that's bad for me. I don't like putting in stuff that's artificial. I, I try to stay away from all that, and that's why I try fume. Let's get back to the show. I think about you a lot, though, because I'm like, anytime I'm in a confrontational situation, I'm like, what would Tommy do? I like, like What is the most unhinged thing that I could do right now to get out of this situation? Because I remember last time we hung out, you told me a fight story that it was fucking unbelievable. What'd you want? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's one of you in the bar. And with the bottle, <laughs> yeah. with, the, with the bottle, oh, they all kind yeah. of blend together. Yeah. You're in a bar, <laughs> somewhere, yeah. Which but, one again? <laughs> but since yeah. that, I've Someone thought smashes so, a bottle. I have a beef right now with the local locksmith. Yeah, there's a locksmith in the area. If you've ever come to Williamsburg, there's it's a, a bad guy to have a beef with. Oh my god, dude, you have no idea. <laughs> that this is, is a bad one, <laughs> yeah, yeah. dude. This is an actual, genuine, like, like turf war I have with this oh, you guy. You gotta get an outsider. <sighs> Do you know a locksmith? No. On the outside. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll handle it. He doesn't know it's coming from you. Oh, I thought you meant another locksmith. <laughs> 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 hey, an outside yeah, locksmith. Yeah, 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 yeah. like, You're way yeah. off base, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, No, yeah, I need a hitman. I need something. Because literally this guy, I get locked in my apartment. I'm with my girl. This happened like maybe a year ago, right? I'm with my girl. And this guy, for the record, has signs all over the fucking town. Like all over Williamsburg, he has signs, RVs with his name, locksmith, on the thing. It's like insane, this guy's ad budget. I'm like, how the fuck is he doing this? Yeah. How does he have so much money? This is how, okay? I'm sitting with my girl. We're going to like check out all these apartments. We're sweaty. We went shopping that day. It's like in the middle of summer. We are so fucking sweaty and tired. And we get up to our apartment, climb four stories, try to put the key in, realize we don't have keys. <laughs> fuck. What do we do? We're so tired. I call the super. No answer. I call her sister who has keys. No answer. I text the fucking whoever else can hit us up. They're like, dude, I'll be there in two hours. We're like, fuck. Let's just call a locksmith. I Google locksmith in the area. Obviously, this fucking schmuck comes up on Google. I call the guy, and he was like, yes, 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 yes. I'll come by right now. Send me one picture. I was like, what? I can't. He was like really quick on the phone, just like kind of fast talking. He's like, Seriously? yeah, send me a picture. Send me a picture of the door. Send me a picture of the door. I've okay. been here. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah. Well, I mean, which door do you? Click. Off the phone. Try to call him back. He's like, brother, brother, I'm on my way. I'll call you right back. Okay, I'll call you right there. I'll be there in one second. Just fast talking me. I'm like. Fuck. All right. Yeah. So I sent him a picture of the outside door. At this point, we walked back outside and now we can't get back in the building because someone else let us into the front door. So now we're just Ugh. stuck outside the building in the heat. So I sent him a picture of the door and he walks up and he's like, dude, no problem. I can help you guys out. Okay. I can get in the door real easy. Boom. He like does one little thing with the lock, picks the outside lock. We're into the building. And then we go back up to the, all the flights of stairs. We're up there. He's looking at my door and he's like, this is a tough door. I fucking, I this need, is dude. one of the strongest locks <clears throat> I've ever seen. In all my years of locksmithing, this is Fort Knox, dude. This is there's no way into this one. It's gonna be at least four hundred. You know this is the biggest scam. Dude, dude, I know. Hold on. Now what, I know. What you immediately do because there's a whole YouTube rabbit hole of just picking locks. You YouTube the lock. I, 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 okay. I, I, and there's dude, a guy. Yeah, but you don't know this. Do you know how hard it is to explain to your girl after she's exhausted and tired to be like, babe, 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 I got this. I got yeah. this. I'm yeah. gonna haggle with yeah, this yeah, guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, you got an earring and a bobby pin, I'll get into our apartment. Dude, like, no. Dude, I had this issue and the guy showed up in like a, a Toyota Sentra, whatever the fuck. <laughs> and it was like <laughs> one window was just taped up. <laughs> this guy yeah. was a pile of shit. Matt Wayne. Do you know Matt Wayne? No. A comic. He's very funny. Uh, a Buffalo comic. He had he had a joke. <clears throat> that leveled me because I thought this my whole life and I never said it, but it's about locksmiths where you, ha in your mind, you think it's like this imaginary like fucking genie that's yeah. like in a tent like this, like you call on my services, I come to <laughs> yeah, help you. Yeah. Yes. And meanwhile, Malevolent. it's just some yeah. fucking Fernando walking up yeah, yeah. and he's like, this lock is not as good as I thought it was, but it's Dude. a very pricey lock. <sighs> and he gives you the options. I did this once. He goes, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and pick it. And he brings out all these tools that you can buy on Amazon for like $10. Yep. So you think he's legitimate. And he starts finagling. He goes, the other option is I got to drill a hole through this thing. Yep. I got to drill an entire hole through the lock. Lock is busted. You got to buy a lock for me. And the whole time I'm thinking like, this is fishy. But to your point, 
I was like, I got to get in there. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. And it cost me like $500, like $400, something like that. This is the craziest Insane thing. Honestly, amount of money. dude, that would make me feel pretty good. If a guy was like, I need to cut the whole fucking door off. I would, I would go, it's hard to get into places. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I good. am safe. No, I'm safe dude. here. I, I still think I felt about that same way. I felt that same way. I remember calling AAA once when I got locked out of my car and I thought they would show up with like an instrument that you had to buy from like the fucking, from like North of Grumman, Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? To like, to even get <laughs> yeah. to, to things. And instead, he just had like a fucking door jam that he put like in the window. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then like spread the window and had like a big, basically had like a little cross a stick and was just like just trying to like pull the. There's a lax, bro. You got a lax, bro. The guy, he's like, dude, I'll fucking side hustle. I'll create my way in So hustle. this guy fucking got me because he goes up there and he's like, and so I also had the super do this like three months ago. I locked myself out of the same thing. The super came up, super nice dude, fucking like uh, what was his name, Jose or some shit, came in, popped it open in like thirty seconds. So I was like, I know it's doable. I don't, I know it's not like a the fucking end of the world. Yeah, you don't have to damage everything. He goes up there, he goes, this is going to be two, three hundred bucks to get in here easily. I can drill through it for 150. If you want, I could just drill through it. And then and you then, have to and buy the lock. And then you can lock. buy the lock for yes. me and I'll give you a good deal on the lock. Obviously, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to screw you over. It's a fucking scam. And I said, dude, honestly, I'm not going to have you drill through the lock and it's not, I have a friend that can give me a key in two hours. I'm not going to pay $300 for you to unlock it. And he goes, no problem, no problem at all. I completely understand, but there is a fee for me coming out here that's going to be $75. I fucking lost my mind. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've said things. I don't want to repeat what I said. Yeah, okay? dude. I said some bad things. Say okay. In front of my wife. Because I'm like, dude, you're, I'm in front of my girl. You're emasculating me in front of this yeah, woman. Yeah, yeah, you came up here. This is a white power podcast, right? Dude, it's fine. Yeah, thank you, man. <laughs> yeah, Let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Dude, we're tearing down all this piece of love <laughs> shit out of this tent. Let's yeah. fucking say what we Women do. wear makeup, yeah. Yeah. bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We should be taller, right, guys? <laughs> Promo code tent, guys. <laughs> and so I'm fucking just like, I'm like, dude, no, I'm not. And he's like, I mean, it's fine. If you want to call the police, we can call the police. This is completely fine. We can get the police. I'm like, I'm like seething at this point. And I was like, I have $45 in cash in my backpack and he was like also that is what I charge <laughs> I was like okay dude so I gave him $45 <sighs> and he left and then I sat there on the stoop with my wife and she was just looking at me like this is who I live with dude it is crazy <laughs> being, locked, being locked out of your house do you ever have no money <laughs> yeah, like do you ever have literally no money college times yeah, yeah, yeah. and like you're like I don't <laughs> <laughs> money's not real <laughs> yeah, I actually, right point. now I have no money. Like, it's, it's like, like it's money you should be able to call a guy and be like, <laughs> get me in this apartment. No, but I'm telling <laughs> you, you like, so much, man. Yeah. Like, here's a little corn pie. I got some jokes for you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let me like, do five minutes. Let me minutes. do the Charleston. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> let, me, let me cheer you up. <laughs> yeah, we got a whole win here, all right? <laughs> Having no money, like you cannot yeah. get anything. Yes. Is the most bizarre feeling. We were like, I... I'm two weeks from another paycheck or like money coming in, and it's like, yeah, I don't have food in my fridge. I don't know how to do anything. Yeah, and I can't leave my house. It's also one of the greatest lessons. I can't get lessons. a cup of coffee. I this can't, is the shit. Yeah. Like, there's the greatest lesson in life is get punched in the face. <laughs> if you've never been punched in the face, you don't know anything. It's it's greater than twelve years of schooling. Getting fucking rocked for your <laughs> for your attitude yeah. and the way you're behaving. I, you're I, gonna I, learn more getting fucking rocked once. That's why I'm a believer in only in person podcasts. For the record, is like people try to be like, oh, let's do Zoom. Even if it's like with some fucking professor, I'm like, I think the threat of violence has to always be on the table, dude. <laughs> I had to bring it. What's calling? What's stopping me? Violence. What's stopping me from it's saying? It's the most important yeah. fucking aspect <laughs> in all of humanity. Yeah. I swear to God, I'll send you the fucking. I have I have like three pages on threat of violence. I wrote like a. A story about it. <laughs> yeah. We call it a manifesto. Yeah. 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 Whatever, whatever. Yeah, we're not splitting hairs here, but whatever you want to call it. Yeah. You're the cleanest tent when I blow my fucking brains out? Yeah. If I get a letter from Tommy Pope, I'm not opening it. I swear it. Yeah. 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 You would have offered it. No, honestly, God, it's, it's so important. The is threat of violence. <laughs> but it's like, it's like getting like a, like I worked in the corporate world for like 10 years. Yeah. Like you get managers is like, oh, you clearly have never, you don't talk to somebody like this, even if you're superior. You know mm, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if you're a level of management, you shouldn't ever speak to somebody like this. Because you understand yeah. that the person you're talking to yeah. could punch you could in the face. The and maybe you could beat you. them up, yeah. but they could punch you in the face, and that sucks. Exactly. Yeah. You're right. That is a lot like, it is actually a lot like getting locked out of your partner or having <laughs> no money. The world does change <laughs> <laughs> dramatically. Yeah. When like, someone hits you hard and there's no repercussions, yeah. you go... 
Whoa, yeah. things are this is this is all very flimsy. There's yeah. all this yeah. world that we're living in. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. this is like well, it doesn't change. It just is you're living in a fake world, and then when you get punched in the face or something awful happens, then you get put into what life has been for most human beings that have yeah. ever existed, yes. which is just sort of like pain and agony. Yeah. And then yeah. you go, Oh, okay, that's what this yes. is supposed to be. This is why I love those Karen videos of them getting rocked by some chicken fucking <laughs> Taco Bell. Yeah. Some white privileged bitch walks in, she's never been slapped. <laughs> and she starts acting out of order. I like when the and white some chick just fucking wins. crow hops, whacks her in the fucking mug. She's like, oh! <laughs> it's like a kid falling for the first time at five years old. They're like, they can't understand the pain and the like the sensation yeah, going was, through their body. I was just I having like, fun, and now I, I'm in her pain. Yeah, now I'm in pain. Yeah. I like kidding. I like when the white privileged bitch wins. <laughs> yeah, like when she she knew like she knew what was coming. And she wanted her fucking cheesy gordita crunch, and it's not there. <laughs> First and of she all, she was willing to start. Name me an example <laughs> and she, that this has ever happened. Oh, dude, yeah, I, yeah. I've seen it before. I'll yeah, find you think it. Karen's are you. screaming for cheesy yeah, gordita yeah, crunch? Yeah, yeah, just, just a big fat bitch, and like so fucking someone jumps the counter and they drop them. Oh, <laughs> oh it's nice. That is and sick. then it's like next man up, dude. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Give yeah, me my next. yeah, dude. They, I watch like McDonald's like behind I got the a counter case compilations. Yeah, yeah. yeah. God damn it, that's so great. What? When somebody like comes around the counter and oh, all yeah. the employees are like, I've been waiting for this. I've been training for this my whole life. <laughs> yeah. For you to yeah. breach. Because I'm not punching you with one fist. I'm pinching you with all the anger from every person that has come up to me that before. Is You're getting a spatula it's to a the thousand fists. Yeah. yeah. It's just like a pure rage. That is nice to see the employees come together and like be a unit. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all we don't vol yeah. A Voltron of violence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they unionize through hatred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. There's something nice about it, you know? Yeah. This is why I hate the writer's union. Fuck them. <laughs> it's all fucking yeah. fat dildos that yeah. can't fight. But You're not they, pencils down, dude? Your pencils haven't been down? <laughs> but if you saw a bunch of writers beat the shit out of some like, finance sick. guy, then you'd be like, ooh. You know what I'm saying, dude? The, the threat of violence has to be on the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would take a hundred to beat. Yeah. To beat the weakest finance guy. Yeah. I don't know. I How many writers do you know, dude? They're the, they're, <laughs> they literally are the blob of cum on the floor with a beard. <laughs> <laughs> I got to piss. Yeah, yeah, do that, do that. They well. would be, they would be, yeah. <laughs> they're more of a, a, where do you speak to my lawyer kind of group. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Unions used to be tough. Yeah, 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 like the fucking Teamster guys. Yeah, you had to have the mob. Yeah, they were beasts. Yeah. And they, and they were backed by actual gunpowder. Like, yeah, they were like, well, that's the only way to start. I remember I was watching this, like, uh, I was watching a documentary with Shane actually once, and it was like, what the fuck was it called? I wish I could remember, but it was about, it was about Indian dudes in a textile plant mm -hmm. in India somewhere. And every dude working there had traveled, like, 200 hours by train like on top of a train like those videos yeah. you see where they're like on top of a yeah, train yeah, yeah. to go there and they would work I think they would work two separate nine hour shifts a day so they would work like nine hours like nap work nine hours sleep you know like work nine hours again it was like crazy yeah and this the documentary is all just like they don't interview anyone for the first like like 40 minutes of it and you're just seeing the working conditions and then they start like talking to these guys and they're like, uh, do you ever think about like unionizing or anything? You know what I mean? Cause it's like, if you don't show up for work or if anything bad, like if there's any issue with you, they like fucking fire you and they'll hire. There's, there's a billion people yeah. trying to get this <laughs> Literally job. a billion. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah. a second. Yeah. And, uh, they're like, you ever try to like unionize or like get some type of like workers rights things going? And they were like, yeah, yeah, we tried. Oh, really? But every time. They'll the the like the powers that be will be like, OK, well, like we'll negotiate with labor. Like, who's your guy? And they would be like, it's this guy. He's representing us. And then that guy would be dead. Like, oh, shit. 24 hours later. So uh, it was like you get why they needed the mob to be like. You needed someone that could kill the fucking Andrew Carnegie's of the world <laughs> so, that, so that you could actually get these people to the table. Yeah, you need a unifying it's, force. Yeah, it's like the only way you're actually going to get to negotiate is if you, like, link right. up with organized crime. Yeah, you have to have the equal and opposite threat of violence. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Where they can be like, hey, here's what's going to happen. You're going to negotiate with these guys. You're going to pay them this thing. And, th and you get to keep your legs. And you get to keep your kids and, you know, we'll look the other way. It's yeah. like there's a, no other way to do it. <laughs> yeah. And then obviously you get to a place where you're actually like two stable organizations, but the mob is now, you came up with the mob. 
Yeah, yeah, and it's you're dirty. Like, Your come up was dirty, also. Yeah, and now you're like, well, we got to get rid of these mob guys because they're ruining like the actual union that we've made. How are you and gonna do that? Like, well, yeah, we're not leaving. Yeah, how are you we, gonna get rid of the mob? Yeah, yeah we, like, you're not leaving now. Now that there's like a court system and like, <laughs> and, like yeah. everyone respects one another, you want us to get cut out of this thing? There's no fucking way. Yeah, you're gonna negotiate yeah. with the mob and be like, hey, thanks for everything. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna actually take it from here. And they're like, well, we can start killing you too. Yeah. You're like, now yeah. everyone's trying to kill us. We're just trying to get a little more residuals <laughs> on our digital content. Yeah, can we just... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude, have you seen the guys? These are like these like African dudes that make cameos. Have you seen this? <laughs> and I'm like, this is the craziest thing ever, but it's also like genius. Yes. It's literally like eight dudes in Africa. I don't even know where they are. And they're just like, happy birthday, Kevin. And Dude. then they do a dance. Yeah. And then they like film it and they put it on cameo. The craziest thing about that is like those questions that you get from like Google ad reads. It's like, how do they fill that out? You know what I mean? Like, how, where is there, are they getting a W9? Like, what is the, where's their bank? Yeah, there was one guy. How are they actually getting the money? <sighs> I to... bet you there's some dark shit with that. There's one dude that's probably making <laughs> so much money. Yeah. And these guys are getting fucking three coconuts each or yeah, some yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, It's like an OnlyFans farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. 100%. Yeah. yeah, like we're talking to these like African dudes that will send like happy birthday messages to people. Have you seen this? No. It'll be like we, 10 African dudes like in like a fucking hut somewhere and they like happy birthday Peter and they like dance with a picture of him and like they do a whole little thing. Yeah. And they people buy it on Cameo. I could buy you one in a I week. I feel like we were watching one of those guys. That that dude that Shane kept watching that was like, today is the greatest day. No, that's like the Vietnamese dude <laughs> yeah, with the yeah, fucking yeah. Dude, shit in his I ear. Think, yeah, I think he's getting like... Oh, yeah, yeah he's money. famous. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that dude rules. But, he, but, but how's the money getting to him? Where is he collecting? Yeah. On a camel. Well, he's not. He's not like. <laughs> yeah. Is he, <laughs> yeah. What is he? He's not going to like the, his local tribesmen and being like, "Can I tap to pay?" <laughs> like, uh, yeah. I feel like you guys are getting a lot of your like internet content from Shane. I feel like he's just like filtering it down. Yeah. Is, like, does he live with you guys still? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah just, all, just all live in the same yeah. compound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We have no, a very uh, incestuous pot of people. Yeah, who all is in the building? <clears throat> no, I mean, like, just in general, like, comedically. Like, our, our Philly crew is, like, we've been doing this for 12, 13 years. Oh, really? So, like, yeah. all, yeah. So, that comment really upset me. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, we're like... You think uh, it's trickling down? You don't think we've been putting a fucking boot to the ground? <laughs> well, that, what, what, when it comes no, to... No, let him say what he said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're putting to, hours in for when content. When it comes to okay. Down syndrome people dancing or acting <laughs> sexy in a shower... Shane's kind of a point man on that. Yeah, now, yeah we all run down point on Mexican different things. Dude, cutting someone's head off, we go to you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. you're on the shock. Yeah. You're on like yeah. the shock algorithm. Yeah, dude. Now, K if you're looking K for if you're looking for red pandas eating grapes, I'm your guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. it seems innocent. I feel like you get like good cat content. Or something. This is how I described yeah. our whole our whole squad is like an octopus. Like we all have different tentacles. But we're all driving in the same direction. <laughs> no one's going to get the reference <laughs> without the actor. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But, well, a lot of people are dumb, dude. You yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it shows the octopus vibes, yeah. dude. This is a five tentacle lap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 There's only five. Wait, who else in he the octopus? three in a car accident. Who else in the octopus? It's you you guys, it's, Gillis. And who yeah. else? Yeah, McKeever. Oh, this is dangerous. What, what is McKeever? What does he dominate content-wise? Directing. Mm. Really a stand-up, too. Yeah, he's... Okay. But in terms of like niche content, does he get anything specific just served up? Uh, no, he was. John and I started the sketch. Uh, our history was like doing sketches, so oh, it was like that. it was like yeah, it was the history of like Gillian Keeves. Like John and I did sketches for like eight years, mm. coming up as stand-ups, oh. and then <clears throat> then we sold a show to Comedy Central. That thing get picked up, but then that's morphed into Tires. So we're just like constantly, Steve Gerben is another big guy. Oh, I didn't realize uh, this. Butterly, Rainey, there's a shitload of dudes. McCusker. McCusker, big, yeah. Gardini. Gardini. LaMare. Yeah. And there's these are Nate. all Philly guys. Yeah. 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 And yeah. then ranked and obviously out of it. obviously like Kevin and Foley. Were Kevin like and Foley, obviously, but they were, yeah. yeah. Kevin and Foley were, were my generation, but they, they shipped, off to, uh, shipped off to New York like two, three years prior. Mm. So it was like me and McKeever, and then um, Shane. But came you and to you and Gerben went to New York the same time that Kevin and Foley kind of went. No, Interesting. they were like three years ahead of me, four years ahead. Oh, of me. Oh, really? Yeah, they went early, dude. Hmm. They went like I would say like 2010, 20, 2000, No, twenty eleven. Because I started and they were still heavy in Philly. I started in like twenty twelve. Mm, I don't know. 
Oh, you started doing stand up twenty twelve. Yeah, yeah, they uh, were they were there they were there till they were there till like twenty. Yeah, maybe it was only two years, three years. Yeah, it was. It but was, I think they were just in a separate track. Yes, and you you and Gerben were in New York. I remember. I don't know. I don't remember and they, that. And you guys were on a different. Who's Gerben? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you had to rank the crew out of like athleticism, like where do you think you guys would be? Daddy. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just curious, dude. You know exactly what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> I'm just curious. What do you mean? What do you mean? Like who's played who's played the highest level of sports? No, that doesn't like, mean anything. Yeah, yeah. She's a sneaky good athlete. See, you've ever seen him underwater? He's a pusher and puller. <laughs> yeah, he's a good swimmer. Wait, he's oh, like, he's un- aquatically? Oh my god, dude. He's, he's, he's a splash. He's a beluga. It's oh, really? unbelievable. Splash and dash. He could beat someone. He also played. He also got recruited Division One the Army. That's right. Yeah, it's push and pull. That's at least. So that's that a guy moving it, cars around a, par- a parking lot. No, that's dude, not athleticism. Dude, so that would put him pretty high, I guess. That's athleticism. Yeah. Linemen are athletic as fuck. Hundred yeah. percent. So that would put him pretty high. So yeah. where would you? Where would you fit, Kevin? Kind of, uh, <laughs> I know what you're doing. I'm not doing anything. Yeah. Where Where would you say? <laughs> he, this, I will say, Tommy. Tommy. Has, I'll do every sport. I mean, you have insane forearms. I, I just want to point this out. Okay, <laughs> so does he. I mean, he's got nice forearms. Yeah. Okay. I didn't yeah. vape just then, just to do that. No, he did. <laughs> no, I did, did. not. You did not, I did not <laughs> I was not surging for a No, you popped the vein out, not, dude. No, no, no. I no, was no, just you vaping. Did pop the vein I was buying time yeah. to vape. He adjusted his hat like no, this. I totally understand. <laughs> <laughs> I totally understand. Trying insane. to like just bounce the light <laughs> off the back. Yeah. Yeah. It's insane, dude. No, no. Now, you got a wrestler's I, build for sure. I also have a fucking... Dude, our squad... Nothing makes wrestlers disappointed like me telling them I didn't wrestle. I know. Dude, we went to Iowa and we were hanging out like all these fans came up that were hardcore like Iowa wrestlers and like dude tell me you wrestled and I was like no I play lacrosse (laughs) Ah, a waste dude you wasted this foundation (laughs) yeah I mean you have the perfect wrestler built but I saved my ears that's true yeah Yeah. dude I also don't have wrestling mentality dude I don't have like that fucking thing. Even high school wrestlers, like guys that never became anything, had like a psycho gene that I just don't have. I think that. you get it after a while. I think you get a couple head concussions, and then all of a sudden I'll, you're like, yeah, I can wrestle. You yeah. know what I mean? It like, is brain down. I think you develop it. Yeah, you're talking about CTE. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you can you can get that. You can get anyone it. Can get it. Anyone can get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's true. We yeah. can work yeah. on it. It's right. available that for I got. <laughs> I got that in spades. Did you get some good concussions from lacrosse? <laughs> oh, my God. You got, you got your bell rung a couple Dude, times? Dude, I was crease diving all over the place and getting smashed. Really? Yeah, yeah. What, what position do you play? Uh, I played attack in midi, but I would like, there was, <laughs> you just dive through the air and I would have huge defensemen destroy Just wreck you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I got hit, I got my bell rung a bunch. And then I, play, I played like youth football too and I would just, I had no fear. I would just. Yeah. But I didn't have that thing, like wrestlers like starving yourself before you go to school. Yeah, eating ice and shit. Dude, I And can't. then doing math. Yeah. Like it's insane. Well, you football did that. We had to, you had to make weight. Yeah, but it wasn't I mean, the football? same. Your fatty baddy, yeah. It wasn't really? the same as. Dude, kids, my my crew, like they had to get in like trash bags and run around the field. They'd get in the weigh-ins and then they'd put these kids in literal trash bags. For the school or for like the commission? No, it's youth football. Oh, really? Because there's no weight classes in high school football. This is like youth football, like you had to be a certain weight. 70s, 80s, 90s, 110. Because kids were just growing at different rates. It's like you can't put a 110 against a 70. It's like a kid who had a growth growth spurt in like basketball, and you're like, that kid's great. It's like, he sucks. He's just tall. (laughs) Dude sucks. And he never made anything of himself. Yeah, but he just happens to be the tallest guy. Just, yeah. But you don't have to gift it. So the kids are trying to cut weight. back around. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll tell you, Mark. <laughs> yeah. You got to be well versed in all of it. I don't know. My no. buddy John was the only one in eighth grade who couldn't make weight. And he was, he was like an all pro center. <laughs> he's, I mean, a line, he's a lineman. Yeah, if you're yeah, a giant yeah. man, you can make it work. He was, yeah, like, yeah, he yeah. was yeah. He Objectively was the biggest person quick. ever. He was like yeah. 250 pounds in eighth grade. He was fucking huge. I mean, yeah, it's insane yeah. they're asking children to cut weight. In like eighth grade, it's and then do math, unbelievable, and like do like they're school. throwing up, dude. dude. <laughs> That's crazy. My it's friends insane. were throwing up, and they just give them a hot dog after they they made weight. Yeah, yeah but hey, great job, buddy. Yeah, hey, you have an exam tomorrow. Yeah, it's like what? Yeah, you're fucking. 10. I can't you're, think. You're dude. ten years old. Yeah, I have a gr- I have a growth condition. Yeah, now yeah, because yeah. I didn't. But we eat won for, five championships yeah. out of Jesus seven years. Let's fucking go, dude. <laughs> the only the only one. My core jacket, dude. I love dude. it, dude. The only it makes you who you are. It builds character. Swimming, also, too. I was like, who would do this? <laughs> no, swimming is fun. I, I guess swimming. 
Did you swim? No, but like I get, I've been told. Dude, I, I don't want to brag. I don't want to brag, but I've been told I have a swim, a swimmer's build. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've been told I have a Broad swimmer's wide shoulders, shoulders, abdomen. They're like, dude, you have a long abdomen. Yeah, oh, Christ-like. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. motherfucker. Yeah, but outside of the swimming pool, it kind of looks weird as shit. It's very bizarre. Yeah, I mean, yeah you, you ever see Phelps and you're yeah, like, yeah. what is that? <laughs> yeah, it's a stingray. Yeah. It's not a human. See Phelps in a button down his. He's just like half his belly's out. It's retarded. Yeah. That's a dream body. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish I had a long yeah. torso. Grace yeah. is greener, pal. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, you could have been fucking Division One, just wrestling. Do you guys ever wrestle? No. I never no. wrestled. No. You, you two never got drunk and just fucking locked up? Oh, yeah. We get drunk and, f- yeah, yeah, for sure. And what's the, what's the scorecard right now? We we haven't done it that much. Yeah. Oh, really? We're, we love each other. <laughs> I wrestled with Shane a bunch, like when we first met. That's insane, up. though. It's yeah, like, I feel like yeah. I mean, again, I mean, you're built but, like the perfect wrestler, like Greco Roman shit. But yeah, but it's all. It, it, I like, feel like Shane probably has a better. He probably got the better of you. He's six three, two fifty. Yeah, yeah. It's like, dude, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. All you gotta do is like lean on him. Yeah. Right. The only reason why this is a good wrestler build is it's hard to get broken. My like bones don't break, but it's like, you have to need you need technique. You need to like know how to do move weight around. Did you ever be goes? What, wrestling? Yeah. No, dude. That was getting <laughs> fucking nah, You got to jab and fucking run around for a little bit. I'm not going to throw... You got to sweat them out. <laughs> you got to sweat them out. You can't throw punches in a late night drunk wrestling. Kids, a can of spam. You just got to run to the bedroom, come back right, out gotta, to the kitchen. You got to take your rug burns and... <laughs> and I just call it a day. Wake up the next morning and get a couple bacon eggs. Yeah. And call it I will call. say this. Yeah. It is very athletic. Like those linemen, like his... Chain's lateral movements are very quick. And that's yeah. what... I don't ever disrespect that, but like when it comes to like athleticism, quarterbacks, wide receivers, cornerbacks, of middle course. linebackers, it, it, like, those dudes are like I, I feel like you, you count a bunch of things. You got to count like game IQ yeah. plus like skill plus like raw athleticism, explosiveness. Yeah, dude. Like you're I trying know, to put linemen all are explosive and they know the game really well. Yeah, but they can't do all the things. <laughs> so I I'll, I can push and pull. I can catch. I can throw. I can run. Those those guys are mailboxes stuck in a place. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you this, no, honestly, God, this, like, this is one of my dreams. My buddy John was the most athletic. Oh, amazing! Dude. No, uh, dude, he's, he's unbelievable. He's a freak. How he's a freak now. Every like pro lineman is the most athletic dude you've ever, ever met yeah. in your life. Well, Chris, it's a everything comedy you podcast. Touch, like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I know, this is dude, we're going to get roasted yeah. in the comments if we yeah. don't give it up for the linemen. Yeah, no, linemen. Most of these people, Shout out linemen. Most of these people. I need are, my car moved from one dude. block to the other. If, <laughs> and I can't, I can't afford gas. Can you and two other waterheads move it? Here's also, my when it comes Here's to intelligence, dream. linemen are number one in, the, in, in pro sports. That's oh, insane. There's no way that's a, true. a quarterback is the most. It's got to be, right? Yeah, it's, it's stop. Who's that? Harvard, even, there was a Harvard kid. Don't even entertain Quarterbacks aren't funny. <laughs> Quarterbacks are boring True. psychopaths. But Jalen Hurts is fucking hot as linemen. Fuck. Linemen are smart and they're funny. Tight ends sometimes too. Who's the? There was a kid from no Harvard that they were like, you can't go in the NFL because you're too smart. He was like a quarterback. Do you remember this? Oh, um, I forget who it was. Uh, he played. He played at like some Ivy, and they were like, "You're too intelligent to go to the NFL. We would really prefer if you didn't." Like people from the school were like, "I know there was a there was a don't deep, ruin this brain." Yeah, literally, yeah, like you yeah. could really help a lot of people. Don't throw touchdowns. Like, it's not <laughs> worth it. like come on, buddy. Like, don't get pussy and throw touchdowns. Florida State. There was a <laughs> don't fl- make millions of dollars, please. Yeah, can Dude. you work at University of Penn Hospital? <laughs> yeah. yeah. What about research? Yeah. There was a Florida <laughs> State safety. I'm trying to remember his name, but he like maybe maybe it was Miami, but he wound up like. He wound up going to like he was a Rhodes Scholar. He went he, now he's like a neuroscientist or something at like Oxford. Oh really? Yeah, and he was he gave up. He was like he was going to be like a first round draft pick. Like there's no question. And instead, he like went and did science. That's Whoa! Awesome. Yeah, and then I think he tried to came back to the NFL. And he, nah, he we're good. <laughs> yeah, you can't take a little time <laughs> off. It's not like yeah, comedy. Yeah, yeah. We're like, yeah, I'm getting yeah. back into yeah, it. Yeah, you can yeah, circle yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's not yeah. a ton of circling yeah. back. Yeah, I've been doing stretches in the back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Starting your NFL <laughs> career at 27. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking safety. Yeah, it's rough. Your fuck, yeah, it's dude. rough. My right. boy got drafted at 23, and that was like, that's oh, like 40. Yeah, my best friend growing up. What did he? What was he doing before? Like JUCO and shit. Uh, no, we our baseball team in high school was really good, and he didn't have any like uh, he didn't have any like schooling and like education around like simple mechanics. Mm. And he went to to Temple, broke the almost the hit record, but he was like out a year. He was like five off the hit record, broke the home run record. He's just a beast. Yeah, and he was such a beast that people were like, "Give him a shot." 
Yeah. And he said he got to the minor leagues and the coach was like, what, where are you, where are you from? Like, what do you, what, what, what's your background? Yeah. How do you swing like this right now? And how are you here? And then he like mm -hmm. made some minor adjustments and just started fucking raking. Cranking them. But the problem is the signing bonus determines how much field time you get. Yeah. Cause they got to work out the people that they yeah. spent, spent the money, the money on. on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so the first baseman that he got signed with got like 300,000 signing bonus. So he was doing very well. And what was and his signing were, bonus? Uh, nothing. Yeah, 50K, twenty grand, something like that. Yeah, something nothing. I don't know exactly, but it was nothing. <laughs> I mean, a lot for us. But yeah, like, yeah, dude, yeah, those guys, shit. those Dude. guys are crazy. Where it's like it, there, there were there were guys. There not a whole lot of them in lacrosse, but every once in a while you'd run into one of those dudes where it's like you could take a full running start at a guy who's not even paying attention and like try to deck him and yeah. you just bounce off. Him. Yeah, yeah. he's the most solid human being yeah. you've ever met. I yeah, think yeah. about. I think about. <laughs> this is fucked up, but I get like sexual with this. <laughs> We're like, yeah, I'm listening. When I yeah, when see I how wrinkled up he is, right? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's like, wincing he's again. Like, he's like, he's like, <laughs> yeah, I get I, sexual. Yeah. Dad, if you're thing. listening, just no, turn it off right now. But I just need to say, <laughs> no, no, this, this is not going to go where you think it's going. But like when you see a man that's like an alpha, like I think I'm an alpha, but yeah. I'm an alpha to a certain you know mm -hmm. perimeter. Yeah, in certain rooms. Yeah, certain rooms. Certain tents. A tent. <laughs> Guys, we'll rip this tent up Come together. On, we'll all fuck each other up. <laughs> and then you see somebody you're like, that guy can have my ass whenever he wants. Yeah. If he grabbed my girl and was like, this is mine this now. This is mine you now. Say, okay. Yeah. So yeah. sorry. It's like a locksmith. <laughs> yeah. You owe me $75. Dude. Give me 75 bucks. I'm going to fuck your girl. Yeah, yeah. 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 Or 300 and I beat the fuck And I fucking you. drill something through and her. And I'm like, I got 45 <laughs> in my backpack. Yeah. He's like, I'm going to drill your girl. I'm going to ruin her. Okay. You're going to have yeah. to get a new girl. You're going to buy a new one. <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> What's crazy is in that situation, you were taking the power back. Yeah, that's what but I felt. It like. looks weak somehow. Anytime you get uptight about money, it looks weak. Yeah, yeah. If, if you're haggling, if you're this like, guy's ah, come fucking on. us, you know he's like, fucking you. Yeah, but they're like, yeah, but that guy was an alpha. Yeah, I gave it got, to him. Yeah, I gave it to him. I was like, the locksmith. Hey, you got me, dude. Big man. No, 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 no. Just Scary. psychologically an alpha. Yeah, he was like Israeli or something, and that yeah. just kind of got in my head. Oof. I was like, I don't want to get in the political. Yeah, yeah. they're demons. Yeah, yeah. Israelis. Are, <laughs> no, they're demons. Yeah, they're very bad. Yeah, they're fired up. Yeah. They got some W's under their belt. They feel a little calm. Yeah. They have a lot, of, a lot of else. Anyway, we're going to have a lot of ad reads this season. <laughs> <laughs> Israeli couscous delivered to your door within 30 minutes. Wait, so why do you make it sexual, though? Like, if you see a no, guy. No, I just like see a dude. Like, I'm like, that guy. Like a beast. I like, fucking hate. There's a dude. There's a bartender at one of the places I go to. <laughs> and it bothers me that I'm so confident with my physical abilities that I know if this guy fucking, he's a collegiate wrestler d1 yeah i know how bad this motherfucker is and he's the sweetest dude collie in my he's head got some collie or what his best buddy has collie and his best buddy's scarier and yeah. smaller yeah but like i think about this and i'm like if you're in a lot of street brawls or like fucking bar fights or whatever the fuck you know what their potential is so you start to think about like the situation right so you're like i start playing this scenario yeah, yeah, yeah. like i like watching fights i like the the possibility of a fight. Yeah. And most people that get in fights don't know they're in a fight. They don't know what, what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And then when I see some dude that can like control a fucking room, I get like worked up like, fuck. This is This nice. would be a problem. Yeah. yeah. Like a, like a, like a prison insecure. riot. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I look at it, I like if I see a bartender, I'm like, if this fucking place, if the doors were locked. Do you have any idea how insane this is? Yes. <laughs> I know how crazy this is. You worried about getting raped by the bartender? <laughs> Not raped, but like, I'm saying he could. You walk into every room and go, I'm a better athlete than everyone in here. Most of the time. That's so insane. <laughs> it's so insane. No, it's, this it's is about thing, physicality. Though. It's so if insane. If you're in a lot of fights, it's like when you're in high school and you do shrooms for the first time and you're like, guys, what if we're on shrooms now? And dude. you just think about shrooms all the time. You're like, dude, what if now we were on shrooms? This is you. <laughs> but it's also entertain it's entertaining Everywhere to my, you go, you're like, my mental state. What like, if a fight happen now? It's fun. Like, what if you're on an airplane and a fight happened? Like, do you size up people on a plane? Oh, dude, what? <laughs> you ever hear 9-11? You got to size up every every person that's darker than the beach walking by you. <laughs> no. Yeah, we might need a little no. let's roll confidence in this plane. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Also, that plane was shot down. <laughs> Let's go, dude. I mean, there were no what? sonic booms recorded it, anywhere. It was, right? It's a little weird. Yeah, yeah. It's a little weird, yeah. right? Pentagon? What was that even? Yeah. What even was that? Missile. 
Yeah, right? Like, yeah. You, I've seen the fucking Tennis gas station footage. Real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen the gas funny. station footage, okay? And it just seems... Uh, there's no, there's no footage. No windows on it? Nothing? No footage? There's the most seen secure building ever? Driving into the fucking Pentagon? What is that? If I... If I punched the clerk it of our bodega driving. on fucking Steinway. On oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're arrested in three hours. I have six cameras around me. Yeah. yeah You're yeah. not going to see a camera of a plane? It's 2001. Huh? Yeah, but it's a Pentagon. <laughs> ah, it's a Pentagon. Uh -huh. yeah, I don't, <laughs> know, Pentagon. I don't, I don't know your dad, Dave's but I know, your, I know your dad sounds like just based off that noise you yeah. just made. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is what he looks like. <laughs> Wait, is that really him? Yeah, yeah. That's my pop. There's no yeah. way. Yeah. This is your dad, yeah, dude? he's a man. And what What gang? What gang? Yeah, he, he wasn't affiliated? No, that's pantyhose on his head. <laughs> <laughs> you think he's Mexican? <laughs> yeah. He's yeah. a cholo, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah fucker. Yeah, yeah, like, fucker. bro, come on, yeah. fool. Dude, listen to Connor do the cholo voice. It's so fucking fun. Oh, man. What, you, you got a good little cholito? Oh, I don't do I don't do No, cholito. Connor does. Oh, I think so. Okay. McNutt. Oh, yeah, really? his cholo <laughs> voice, dude, is so fucking Oh, he grew up out there, right? I know. He grew up in LA. Yeah, take a piss. It's so yeah, authentic. Yeah, it's so perfect. Do you do you believe in any woo woo shit? Like, do you believe in anything that's like you can't prove it? She's the best athlete in everything. <laughs> is that not woo woo? I am. But like on like some like, <laughs> I'm one thousand percent better of an athlete than you. But on like some, you'll like, be in lacrosse, I guess. <laughs> but if you had two weeks to practice, there's there's no better athlete in my squad. <laughs> There's no, none. I've seen your forearms, dude. It's insane. No, dude. At 43, are you on? Are you not on like trend or some shit? And what? Like steroid? Like some type of like no, uh, testosterone day, builder? I drink a shitload of beer and whiskey <laughs> and uh, gum, mezcal, bleach, tequila, gin, yeah. bleach. <laughs> drink my own cum. Yeah. What's up, guys? We gotta take a break really quick because I have to tell you about the best vases in the game. Now these vases are beautiful. Now you can see a picture of them right here. I love these vases. I got this vase from my mother. I got this vase from my grandmother. My grandmother loves this vase. And you can use them for a lot of different things. I like to use it as a vase and YouTube's monetization team likes to use it as a vase. So that's what I prefer to use it for. You can use it for really anything else you want or whatever your imagination can come up with. But uh, I would prefer these vases compared to other vases and here's why. Sometimes with a regular vase, you're gonna put a flower into it and you're gonna smell the flower and all of a sudden, all the hot air from the day just sitting around your room, it's just stagnant air is going to get into your lungs. It's going to get into your throat. You're going to start coughing. You're going to feel terrible. You're trying to smell the flower to relax and just chill and stop and smell the roses. But when you do it with a regular vase, it can hurt and do the exact opposite of what you're trying to do. So that's why I always tell people, check out thefreezepipe.com because these vases have a glycerin chamber. And now here's what's cool. You put the glycerin chamber in the freezer for an hour and it'll lower the temperature of the air in the vase by 300 degrees. That's crazy. So now imagine hot air that you're breathing in. Oh, that feels terrible. Or you could breathe in the calmest, smoothest, coldest air you can imagine. So now you're getting all of the relaxation benefits that you were looking for in the first place. If you want to smell flowers or flower with this vase. It's awesome. I got it for my friends in college. Everyone I know uses these vases with the glycerin chamber. So if you're interested, and st trying to stop smelling hot air every time you take a deep breath of flour, you can go to thefreezepipe.com and use the code GAGNON to get 10% off your entire order. That's correct. Thefreezepipe.com. Use the code GAGNON, G-A-G-N-O-N, for 10% off your entire order. You don't have to spend all this money, an arm and a leg, just to stop smelling hot flour smoke, all right? Get it for your mom for Mother's Day. Get it for your grandma for Grandmother's Day. I don't even know if that's a holiday, but make it one, all right? Now let's get back to the show. I, I judge athleticism on multiple sports. So if yeah. you tell you like, well, who's the best athlete? It's you like, say, all right, what can you do? Usain Bolt, would, would he rank high in your classification? No, he's just supreme in one category. I don't know though, maybe, dude, you put me, here's my dream. This is my dream, mm -hmm. I swear to God. If I get enough money, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get like five acres of land and I'm gonna have stations like, you know when you go to a driving range yep. and there's little stations? Mm -hmm. Each station will be a different sport. Right? So you go from baseball to football to hockey mm -hmm. to golf to lacrosse to frisbee to whatever the fuck you want. And soccer can be in there, right? Soccer, I mean, you went through eight yes, sports. Yes, soccer. You said a Native then, American game before the greatest game that exists yeah, okay, around the world. Okay. All right. You're here telling, me this. You're telling me this. So then each distance, like depending on what sport it is, they have like a net and then big circles, colored circles, certain ranges mm -hmm. for point systems. So you go from, let's say, 1 to 10 in each little station, mm -hmm. and there's a, a grading system. Okay. 
So just I just want me and my boys to play sports and all day long. Identify the supreme athlete. Well, no, I just think it's a just great <laughs> waste of time when you have money. <laughs> I mean, just really, constantly. Well, have you played? Chris is a great athlete in terms of like, dude, when he he's my he's my Labrador on the beach. Ah, uh, you fucking that know. dude. I was that you dude. Was, what happens when you play sports at the highest level? <laughs> 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 is you recognize that there are so many people with strange body types that are insane athletes. Yeah. And you realize there's people who quit sports early that never play sports that are insane yeah. Yeah. athletes. And jacked yeah. dudes that, that, that just can't like, move for shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there's like, there's like the amount of times I've been like hanging out with, you know, you have like a girl that you're dating and you're hanging out with like her friends and their like boyfriends and there's some fucking fat show and you're like, this guy's just a dump. And then you realize that this kid is he's great at horseshoes. Like, just <laughs> he's dirty at horseshoes. The kid can play darts. All of a sudden, he, yeah. like he can do a bunch of stuff. Where you're like, this dude's hand-eye coordination is, is like, fucking insane. You ever played yeah. someone that's good and at beer just, pong? Like, he just didn't play sports with it. Yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah, th yeah. There's, there's an air hockey <laughs> ringer that's two blocks away. There's this like little coke den that's like down the street. Yeah, and uh, there's an air <laughs> hockey table, and there's this chick. That plays air hockey <laughs> and will coked out of her mind. run people. I've never seen anything like yeah. it. I literally went there with my boy. And I was just like watching this girl play, and she would just be like, "Hey, five bucks, five dollar game." That's like the minimum. We just play five dollar games, and she would just run dudes yeah. and make like hundred fifty bucks a night. Yeah, I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, and yeah. just would sit there and like she's just like some frumpy chick smoking cigs, and just happens to be the Nose greatest angles. The gr dude. And yeah. she like, like I, was, I was asking like advice. I was like, okay, how do you do it? She's like, okay, I put my hand right here on the edge of the goal. That way I know if I move my little guy over, yeah. I know exactly how far to move it. Yeah. And so I'm this this part is blocked 100%. Yeah. I know depending on where they're moving their little thing, yeah. how I can hit it either off the line to hit it perfectly in yeah. or if I just go straight on goal. Yeah. And she just runs it. Dude, See, I, I like this. I like this a lot, but if you put it on a three and three basketball court, you're going to have to call a stretcher <laughs> and three ambulances. No, I this know. This is not a sport. You it's, can it's learn a game. how to fucking it's a game. air hop. It is a game. It is a game. It is a, a game. Sport. It's a sport. It is a game. She's not an athlete. Coordination. She's not an athlete. She's not an athlete. She is an athlete. She's not an athlete. She's a sportsman. I would consider that Some a sportsman. Some meat wagging cokehead who's smoking cigarettes, knocking people around. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm bringing table. this back around to agreeing with you. She's also a troll under a bridge. That's true. She tells She's riddles. She's chosen a pr certain bridge to protect. Her bridge is fucking air, air hockey. Yeah, one of the greatest games ever invented. It's a great game. In Columbia. Yeah, and that is literally what they do. Like, there's women you run into at who are like they have great hand eye coordination, they are a little athletic, <laughs> but they just chose a bridge to sit next to <laughs> to ruin dudes' egos. Yes. And I, like I, and no, I, I, do, hate, I do like I it. hate that. No, you're so right. You're right. I respect it, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of yes. sick. It does turn dude, me there's on. A guy, there's, a, <laughs> <laughs> there is a guy in every VFW who has a closed eye because he's so drunk and he <laughs> crushes and darts. Like, listen, what is everybody that? has the, the point is the, the when I say athletic abilities, it has to span. You don't just focus on one thing. Mm -hmm. You pick up any ball, any fucking kind of yes, yeah, do it all. You think the best athletes are decathletes? Is that like? But yeah, some of the decathlon shit is whack, swimming? though. So, no, but some of the decathlon no, stuff like, is whack. Like, like, you like ski and you shoot. Yeah, they they do like so arrows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like some of the shit is stupid. Yeah, Those like guys aren't. triathlon is pretty good. I like that. That's like a pretty well rounded. That's a mental game. Yes, you think so? Physical and mental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Track swimming. That stuff is. What like, about like CrossFit? What about those guys? I mean, we don't like those. We're talking about Come theater on. kids Look. that found other <laughs> theater kids. Dude, don't get me fucking started. Look, I know. I get nuts about it. I, I like the movements. I use them myself. So what's wrong? So does Chris. I don't use those movements. Yes, you do. I don't use yes, those do. movements, dude. Do you hate the players or do you hate the game? That's what I want to know. I hate the players in that. They're in also troll-like. I like they, the game. They, That's what I'm saying. I like the game. So fundamentally, it's I like pretty the good. Game. Yeah. You ever do a Murph? Yes. It's a great yeah. time. It's Already, the I worst know. thing What's in the world. What's a Murph? A Murph is it's an a, awesome time. You run a mile. You have a weighted vest, okay? 20, 20, like, what is it, 20 kilos? That might be too much. I don't you know, know. Who's good? You know who's amazing at this? Ferg. Yeah, I bet. He's oh, our really? trainer a is a animal. fucking animal beast. Yeah, he's one of those guys who played like high school and maybe a little college hockey, and he's easily a better athlete than both of us. He's a freak, dude. <laughs> yeah, and, but he's... Uh, yeah, what's a Murph? So he's you run, you run a mile. You have a weighted vest on. A run a mile. You, you have to do. No, he's not. Three hundred air no, squats. No, he's stronger. <laughs> he's stronger. He played minor league hockey. It was a cup of coffee. That's, that's one. It was a cup of coffee, but he played minor league hockey. <laughs> that's one sport. I mean, that's, that's, that counts. It's one sport. I'll give you. Dude, hockey. Anyone who plays minor league hockey. Have you played paddle? Better, have you played paddle ball? You, for sure. 
Paddleball. Have you heard like of this? The beach? Yeah, pickleball. Or pickleball. Oh, yeah, pickleball, yeah. 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 It was called paddleball. They rebranded it. It was a rebrand. I've never played it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've never yeah. played it. This is like a, a great That's game. That's what we were throwing in the backyard at uh, uh, Kushik's house. No, that was a dog that toy. That was a... <laughs> 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 that was actually from Petco. That was actually a, a toy. I thought it was a pickle. <laughs> no, I was, just throwing, I was just throwing a newspaper at you. <laughs> yeah, like, go fetch. You called him a Labrador oh before, dude. Oh, my God. Come on, That dude. wasn't a pickleball? Somebody told me it was a pickleball. That was no. 100% a dog toy. <laughs> that we just dude, wanted to throw and something And we had about. to whip it to get to where it needed to be. I swear. Yeah. He's, he's tried to start five stories. We no, 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 no. There's no stories happening, dude. <laughs> It's just, sorry, it's sorry. just pure flow, dude. I'm sorry. But no, a no, Murph. Don't, don't. What's a Murph? What the fuck is yeah, a Murph? What's a Murph 300 squats, 200 push ups. Oh, my mom's pull-ups. birthday's oh, coming. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah, yeah, 300 just body squats. Yeah, but you have a weighted vest. But yeah, 300 air squats. Like, but deep. You got to get That's full mobility. Crazy. Full movement. And then 200 pull ups, 100 push ups. Holy Christmas! I've never God done that. That's it. I know what it is. I've never. I didn't, you would know, love it. I didn't know it was that. You would get. You would, and then you do another sucks. mile run after that, and you get deep in your pain cave, and you learn some things about yourself that you never knew were there. I agree with this. Yeah. Even and the level I, that we're working on, it's like you learn enough. Yeah. You learn. Exactly the gym what was you closing need. on the Fourth of July, the and we had like forty-five cave. minutes to get it in, and we're sweating. <laughs> it's the best. It's like you just you, you don't need all that much time. You guys need to do CrossFit together. Pain we do. Wait, do you get into pain caves? I'll, my favorite thing to do. Really? I meditate a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love yeah. meditating. I love being at the... Today, I was doing lunges. I had to do 15 lunges each leg, 50 pounds each hand. And you and, feel like you're meditating while you're doing that. Is, yeah. There is something similar. Because your body can do it. Your yeah. body's a missile. Your body's a weapon. It, like All of our bodies have evolved over millions of years to do this. And bodies wants, can it, break. It, it when wants they break, to, though, they're broken they, forever. They don't break. This is, this is a myth. You can this pull, is, dude. No. You yeah, pulling a muscle is even real. I don't even believe in that shit. <laughs> dude. I don't even believe in that. Like, I like this. This is you being gay. Like, yeah, like You're if being you just, gay, Chris. You get deep in there, and you go, hey, my body. Guys, when you if I was chasing sports, a baboon. When you played sports the highest. <laughs> <laughs> Were you a pro? We didn't go to pro at the time. <laughs> if you're chasing, yeah, yeah, pro didn't you exist. Pro, pro didn't exist. But if you're chasing I a baboon, play pro. I if you're chasing a baboon, pro. if you're chasing a deer, you're with your tribe. Okay, you're deep in. With, you're with the hods of people. Okay, of Tanzania. Did you're, you watch Chimp Empire? Of course, I watched Chimp Empire. And okay. I cried. I cried when Pork Pie he died. He basically pulled a hamstring, and they didn't repair that guy. They just let him die in the woods. He didn't pull a hamstring. Okay. He Wait, are we talking about a chimp? Or yeah, it's a chimp. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't want to split hairs here, but yeah, it's a you chimp. know how many human beings <laughs> would be dead laying in the street if we didn't help them out? <laughs> Hold on, I, this is the problem with modern society. Let them fuckers die. <laughs> <laughs> They're bleeding our system. He dude. said money didn't they? Really you ever meet somebody still we really get, from the athlete? We gotta thing. get rid of money. You ever meet somebody yeah, yeah. who like, you would have died. The best you would have died years ago. A hundred years ago, you wouldn't even have made it this far. Thank God. Yeah. What that's why we. No, it's good that we help each other out. I think we should. That's help each why other. we made money. That's why we I, don't need money. We I, help each other I'm out. with you, dude. Yeah. We gotta help each other out. But yeah. I'm saying, you get deep in your pancake. You just meditate, and you go, "Hey, my body can handle this." The reason I'm not doing it is because my brain is weak. is quitting on me. Yeah, my yes. brain wants to say, "Hey, let's protect yes. us." Yeah, you don't need to. But what do you do? Here's a question I have for you because I've been getting into the meditation thing too. Look how athletic. Yeah, you, why, why don't you just fend him off? Do you, like, why, why don't you just stop? Like, dude, he's I'm not me, that I'm fast. Me, so I'm you can just stop over him. here. It's yeah, fine. Like, <laughs> it's like soft toss on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever? Do you ever when you're meditating, you go, "Am I meditating?" <laughs> I mean, this is not the most O'Connor or, sentence you've ever heard in your life. <laughs> or am I hung yeah, over yeah, yeah. in the yeah, backyard? Yeah, yeah. Or am I just tricking? You're like making love to the woman you love more than anything. You go, am I making love to the woman I love? Yeah, he's like, yes. Dude, no, I don't do this, bro. What do you mean? He expected you to be like, you nailed it. He's, been, he's being facetious. Yes. Also, what word is that, dude? You, you said facetious. facetious. Hold on, hold on. You know what It's it's not. It's the same. The Greek I'm, I'm with you. Ever, I used you to be this way a lot more. And you think about whether you're like you're like I'm fucking pretty good right now, and then you go, Am I though, or am I just? I used to be this way. I used to be this. And then what? And what? what How did you get past it? I I, I, did, I I did some shrooms in a frozen room. All right, and I fucking broke through the other side. He's but doesn't that, that too. also make you feel ridiculous? No, I did a lot. Of shrooms. No, no, no. no, I did, I, no. It, no it wasn't shrooms. It was a lot of therapy and meditation. <laughs> and I and I got over some childhood shit. Like, oh, yeah, I got through a lot of childhood shit that I was dealing with. Okay, that was making my self esteem the same as that as a net. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the constant, like, I was like, okay, my parents' surety made me insecure. It made me rethink everything, yada, yada, go to therapy, talk it through, talk to my girl, that helps. And then I was like, yeah, I don't have to second guess every little decision I make. I still do it a lot, well, but, I, but I know this feeling. Well, when you're fucking good, it feels good to fuck good the same way it feels good to throw a ball well or run fast. Of course. The field. And then you start going, am I just, maybe I'm not paying enough attention to her needs. <laughs> oh, no. That's why I'm feeling so good. I'm, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm just so up here. kind of. I light a candle over her pussy. <laughs> I let that wax drip deep. Oh, God. What's the fucking craziest thing a woman has ever asked you to do in a bedroom? Put sushi on her and eat it. What? Oh, yeah. That's one of your yeah. bits. Yeah, that's crazy. Wait, really? That's a real thing that happened? Yeah. And, Associating and you did it? sushi with sex is so insane. Insane confidence, it's though, from her part. I actually crazy Maybe she's deflecting from the center of her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's her, like her kombucha. Yeah, no. this is her being no, sweaty, no. being like, "Oh, if I put water on myself, yeah, yeah. Yeah, then I, I won't be shit sweaty." On my chest, yeah, if I cover myself nuts. in fish, yeah. then maybe they won't smell my fish. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a sushi. Yeah, yeah, it's great. yeah, that's actually genius, dude. It's very bright. Yeah, 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 there's a lot of stuff like that. I mean, what happened to this girl? Did you stick with her? No, she was a very strange person. She like, <laughs> she also lived a long ways away, but she in Japan. She lives in Japan. <laughs> yeah, that's my girlfriend in Canada. And <laughs> yeah. no, but she she did a thing which was I thought was very weird, where she she like when we first started hooking up, she told me this horror story about how her ex boyfriend always wanted to fuck her in the ass. Okay, it's every ex boyfriend. Uh huh. So she was like, "Do you want to fuck me in the ass?" And I was like, "Ah, right, your pussy's great. I'm fine with fucking you in your pussy." <laughs> yeah. And then every time she would get drunk, she'd try to get me to fuck her in the ass. This and, sounds like a dream. No, but it was weird. That's a weird... <laughs> Is this one of your dreams again? <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's weird. Well, she probably had a fantasy and was insecure about telling but then you... then That's where yes. you get dragged into that space where it's like, if they say that they don't want it, and the fact that they brought it up, does that mean that they do want it? Yes. And then if they like, do it multiple in, times, I'm, you're in an uncanny valley. I don't. I'm <laughs> That's not. What the butthole is? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, but anyway, I'm more concerned <laughs> yeah. about this meditation thing. Yeah, it's an un it is an uncanny valley. Yeah. Yeah. Because when you're meditating, <laughs> how do you know that you're doing it right? As long as you're not thinking that thought, you're yeah. nailing it. Yeah. yeah. As long, if you're thinking that thought, you're not doing but it. But are so you good. just deluding yourself into thinking that you're doing it right by not thinking that thought? No. No, 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 no. Like just because it feels good doesn't mean you're doing it the right way. Full presence. Being fully present in the moment. I know, but you can trick yourself into thinking that. I've done it. And and I then, thought I was like the best meditator ever. And then you've achieved it. No, you haven't. Then you've arrived. No, you, ha you haven't. There's a funny story I, I heard in a book <laughs> once. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's the most lovable head case of all time. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's awesome. it's funny I love it. I, I, I truly love you it. You know what's crazy I about him? It's like, it. even when he makes progress, he's so cynical about his own progress. He's like, stop. Yeah, we can't go any further. Dude, you lost five pounds. He's like, fuck. I mean, maybe. No, I'll, I'll that, gain it back. That you can measure. <laughs> yeah. That you can measure. Total consciousness, you can't. Like, like pure presence, you can't measure that other mm. than by your own feelings. But I think you can feel it, though. Yeah, but your feelings, that's... Reliably unreliable. This episode of the Joe Rogan Experience <laughs> is brought to you by Kenzori. All right, do you dude. want two point eight inches lifted on your shoes? <laughs> yeah, we're all the same height. Lay it down, all right, ladies? Please, <laughs> fucking athletic dreams. Dude. <laughs> but I'm saying that, like, I okay. So this is the, this is the story. There was um, done. <laughs> There's more beers in the fridge if you want. I'll get it. Why you don't have to get mad just because we're not talking about sports? What are you talking about? I'm enjoying this. Talk about sports. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. I'm talking about my mental health here. Yeah. And you can at least show up. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't kill myself. Yeah, you don't even mean it. You don't even mean it. <laughs> show up. <laughs> yeah. I need you to show up. up for me right now. Yeah, yeah dude, I'm fucking cool. No, but I'm saying. <laughs> can't, just, can't just save space for me right now, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> no. But so the, the, it was How like. How do you know uh, you're jerking off if you're jerking off? <laughs> You see that? I know. Oh, I guess I, I can't know that. You can't no. know it. Yeah. Just don't start thinking about sure. beating off, dude. But it's the okay. only thing we have <laughs> together. <laughs> Stuff Island. Yeah, yeah. Do you com. want to see us beat, beat, beat off together? No, but there's a story about uh, there's like there was a group of people and they were going like they were in India. They were going from like one kind of like yogi to another. You know, they were on like a meditation like trip. Mm -hmm. And uh, they went to this one guy and there was a woman in their group who was like, um, it was about having that, that experience of like just pure experience. Like you're not, 
you're not having any thoughts. You're just experiencing like that was the goal. And she was like, I, she started being like, I've, I've done it. Like I haven't had a thought, like I'm not thinking I'm just experiencing. And the, the yogi was like, very like, yes, you are doing it. Like you are, you're incredible. And then they go to this next yogi and the whole group, except for like a couple people are like so impressed with this woman for like really achieving this like higher state of consciousness. And, uh, <laughs> they sit down with this, this, yo this new Yogi for the first, the Does first your day. Pussy grow out <laughs> every level. Yeah, you yeah, go yeah, up. yeah, yeah. Your click gets bigger. <laughs> and that's how you know it. So it's a, <laughs> yeah, you got a pseudo penis. It becomes, yeah. it's, a, becomes it's, a lotus, bear. it's a lotus. <laughs> it's <very> lotus. <laughs> yeah. So, so then, <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, so, so they sit down with this new Yogi and, uh, He's like kind of going through his little like just opening like fucking spiel. And uh, everyone in the group is like, she hasn't had a thought in like a week. She's like totally, she's like, she's having, retarded. <laughs> you know, yeah, she's got frontal you gotta, you gotta, well, <laughs> yeah. get a little this fucking yeah, yeah. There's no way to conjugate. She's just it. There's, <laughs> there's literally no way to conjugate fucking, fucking yogi shit into thoughts. something that Tommy can understand. <laughs> well, hear what I gotta oh, say. I no, I have so many yeah. more thoughts in this bitch. No, no, but you basically said what the, the new yogi said. <laughs> yeah, I bet you haven't because you fucking retarded. <laughs> no, no, but the good yogi. The yogi. The, the new yogi, like all everyone in the group was like, she hasn't had a thought in, in a week. She's like to total consciousness, whatever. And uh, he goes, what? And they're like, yeah, yeah. She's like just pure experience right now. Like she's just, she's just vibing. And he's like, you haven't had a thought in a week. She's like, no. He's like, okay, here's what we're going to do. <laughs> we're all going to sit here until you have a thought. And then right away she was like, "Oh, I, I, go I just had a I thought." No, she was like, "I just had a thought." And uh, another, another thought. <laughs> yeah. This person had just been deluding themselves into being like, "I'm yeah. just pure experience." It's like anyone can do that. I did it when I like started. I was meditating like every day for a while, and I was, dude, it, it felt so good. And then you just get to a place where you're like. This feels really good, but am I just patting myself on the back, or am I actually doing this? Do you believe? Do you believe placebos work? Of course. Like if someone gave you a sugar pill and they were like, hey, this is going to cure whatever thing you have. Yeah. And then you believe it and then you start to feel the effects. Like you believe that that, if, that is a real Dude, thing. They've given women, they've given women <laughs> Ipecac and told them that it cures like morning sickness <laughs> from pregnancy. That's yeah. a Coca-Cola that makes you throw up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, it, and it has. <laughs> yes. So this is Ipecac makes you vomit. Yes. And they'll take it to cure their like morning nausea. And it's cured it. So then my question That's how is, how powerful it is? Is the placebo working or is it not working? And if you are believing and convincing yourself that this thing is effective, does that make it less effective, or is it, it as as effective as if it worked? Fuck, which is not who I am as a comedian. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> as a high level athlete, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. as a top, <laughs> yeah, as a regular, as a headline. Okay, you understand? As a headlining yeah. comedian, I don't have time okay. For this. As someone's doing weekends, okay, yeah. zanies, all right? <laughs> no, I just I feel like myself every motion of the day. <laughs> I just feel like it can't be like the, uh, the high-level guys are just tricking themselves. They have to actually be doing I mean, you've seen, something. like, the, the CT scans of, like, these monks yes. and shit. Yeah. And it increases your, like, gray matter and stuff like that. Like, it yeah. has actual effects on your brain, but it, is it just a big jerk-off session, or are you actually doing something? Listen. Could it be both? It can be both, but I'd like to even know that. Or maybe I shouldn't, because then it would interfere with... I don't know. Would That's you rather... Saying. That's why you're... Yeah, you're through the looking glass. Live to 85 years old. Okay. Snorting. Drinking. Yeah. Fucking. Hunter Biden style. Laughing. Yeah. Or have this Zen bullshit <laughs> until you're 50. Dude, the Zen bullshit feels so good. No, it's a fucking nap. It, no, it's, it's not. It's a nap without a nightmare. No, dude. It's and... <laughs> I want to find a balance. Dude. You can't be full hippie. Dude. You can't be full druggy. Find a fucking balance. I, mean, I need a balance. I'm, I'm telling Because why? What was your balance? I feel like you're all flow. I feel like you're constantly in flow. He's yeah. not what? Flow in terms of what? Like, 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 you know, the flow state, like where you are, you're not in your conscious thought. You are just existing in the present moment and yes. you're just flowing through. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, it happens in sports. It happens in art. It can you happen. think he's in a flow state? I think that he, yeah, yeah, I do. No. You ever see that where they throw the, like a Coca-Cola Co Coca bottle down the stairs and it doesn't break? Yeah. That's what he is. <laughs> I'm doing You're like, that's incredible. I'm strong. But it's not a flow state. I'm having a good time. <laughs> you think Bouncing you're in a down flow the steps. state? 
I don't even know what the flow state is. That's that is, is the proof flow. that it's this a flow. flow. You know what I'm saying? You're in your head. You're thinking about. I stuff. do. I am in my head, but you're in your head to a point of like it's. You're it's almost bad. out of your head. Yeah. You're in someone else's head. You <laughs> think too much. You're. Yeah. You're no. But, but I know that feeling. It's detrimental I, to. I overthink you do. everything. Every decision I've ever made, I've I've made ten decisions before it. Yeah. And I'm constantly just like reevaluating, blah, blah blah. And I've worked so hard to not do that. Yeah. Uh, to just be like, what does the gut say? What 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 is, is my, there, what is my intuition? Is there a key? See, this is also one of those things where it's like it does feel like. If, <laughs> no, because I'm trying to empathize. I'm like, uh, <laughs> I just love. Well, I was empathizing with you. Don't empathize with me. I'm re-empathizing. Don't empathize with me. Oh, oh, it's a reverse. You're empathy. a fucking charity case. No, 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 I was trying to give you no, an olive branch. Don't empathize with me. Is there just? He gets so philosophical. Philosophical. It's like, dude, just say what you mean. No, because I get stop overthinking shit. Have fun. Put your dick in holes that shouldn't be there. I'm and that's doing what you that. Do. I'm doing it. No, I know you are. This is what I'm, you do. You get in this fucking, you overthink, and then you're like, like, I'm trying to figure out life. And then you slam some pig that's going <laughs> to pull you off the course. I assume and then you go in the there. hole. I assume that's where, that's where life begins. That that's is, where yeah, life that's begins. the genesis hole. of life. That's yeah. where life begins. I'm trying to get as close to it as possible. Mm -hmm. Respect. Yeah. No, dude. <laughs> dude. You're literally the Titanic looking for an iceberg. <laughs> That's your whole life. I'm going to be the biggest ship getting across the seas. And then you go, whoa, what if, what if we just destroyed this? That's pretty this good. is more interesting. Yeah. That's pretty you got damn right. I love also, you. Also, that never hit an iceberg. But hold on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You should believe that hit it was an iceberg. A missile from no, that is a funny yeah. thing. That is a the funny government thing. Shot the it search out. for the Titanic, the obsession with the Titanic is also just fake. Wait, why? Uh, the United the United States government just built it up because we lost two submarines and we didn't want the Russians to find them and we needed to get them. So the whole search for the Titanic was just a cover for us finding those submarines that had technology on them we didn't want them to find. I love that. That's cool, right? Yeah, I love. And that. that's like that's like a uh, that's here's, real. Here's the difference. That's real like, stuff. That's not. I'm not. Here's the difference. Shooting blanks here. No, no, no. This, you're fucking spit facts, right? <laughs> Wait, but hold on. So I'm laying come... in bed listening to the podcast and learning that cool fact, or do you want to just go with the flow and have fun? That's what I'm saying. You want to be the Coca Cola bottle rolling down the steps? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or do you want to... No, because no, when it's someone it's criticizes broken. me, then I need to have the response. <laughs> I got a bullet. I got a bullet in the chamber. I got to get a beer. Uh, I mean, that submarine shit is crazy, though. That is like, crazy. I, I don't want to digress too much, but the submarine thing is fucking insane. The submarine thing is insane. Did you guys talk about this at length? I'm sure you did. No, we haven't. Okay. We haven't. We ha it's like, I don't know. There's always that thing where you like, I try to kind of almost avoid being like too topical sometimes, but it, there is that, I like, what but do you want? Do you want another IPA or Corona? I'll take an IPA. There's another IPA. There's a fridge out there in the kitchen. If you go right left, there's like a little Bel Air fridge. You'll see it. There's that thing where like, I feel sometimes this way with jokes too, where you're like, a thing that's too in the news, like the internet does it. Mm. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, it's yeah. like piranhas on a fucking yeah, piece yeah. of meat. The group wisdom like, of Twitter will come up with the funniest joke. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. everyone will see it, and yes. then it'll be good enough. And then it's like, you don't really need to talk about it. Maybe it's like a way of like segueing into something else that is like more personal or an interesting like yeah. take. But like, there's sometimes where it's just like the meat is so off that bone that you're like, I don't really need to talk about. It. But, but that challenge is sometimes fun. Is there something that people yeah, haven't gotten into? Is there into? like a new place? Yeah, I, mean, like, I kind of enjoy that. I kind of, I also enjoy the feeling of going up in front of a crowd and being like, oh, everyone in here is thinking the same thing. Like it's almost like doing a local joke. Yes. But yeah, yeah. It's local to culture. Versus yes. like a ge geography. Or trying to say like the meanest thing about that town. That <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just being like, oh, this submarine thing happened? Hey, guys, submarine time. Isn't this the worst thing to happen to subs since Jared Fogle? You know what I mean? Like you just get to have <laughs> a thing, right? Like you get to have yeah, yeah. A, an angle that's fun. Yes. I mean, I mean, how do you feel about it? It's like I – sometimes I just go, I'm indifferent to what crazy people do. I feel – the worst I feel for is the kid – yeah. On the sub who like has a billionaire, I don't know if it was his actual dad or his stepdad, but the, the like his billionaire dad probably has no relationship with that guy. Any guy who's a billionaire <laughs> is spending no time with his kid. Yeah. And then the dad comes up with a like bulletproof plan to spend time with his kid. Yes. Look, Dude. you're off from college for summer. Twelve hours. I we're going down to see the Titanic. Tons of people have done it before. 
It's going to be fine. This billionaire is going to come with us. It's as safe as can be. The, the kid's getting no information about the other billionaire who's like, uh, it doesn't look good. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And that kid is is on that ride. The kid is 17. He doesn't give a f- He didn't see fucking Titanic the way we all did, where yeah. we were like, fucking, that's my girlfriend on that boat. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like, he's going along for the ride. Yeah. Just to be with his dad. Who he doesn't even give a fuck about really, but he's paying he's paying lip service to his dad basically. Just to be nice. Trip. And then you get crushed instantaneously. <laughs> fucking before you even know it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean Tommy was saying that the Pakistani guys went on the boat because they wanted to go see Osama bin Laden. Yeah. That's what he has said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Jack he, what? Jack that, when yeah. Jack was on That's the That's why they went. The when white Jack, guys went for the Titanic, but the Pakistanis went for Osama. There's Pakistanis on that boat? Yeah, yeah. dude, there was two of them. The, yeah. the son that you're talking about was Pakistani. Yeah. That's what Tommy said. I'm the captain now, dude. <laughs> dude, there's no way. <laughs> just chugs it, just shotguns on IPM. Like, Whoa. They didn't it's dump intense. Bin Laden anywhere near Newfoundland. Yeah, also when Jack... <laughs> when Jack <laughs> when they dumped him on the Titanic. Dude. Yeah. He's draped on the edge. He's doing actually the fucking rose. It's on yeah, the yeah, front. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. Jack... They and, grafted onto the diamond. <laughs> yeah. When Jack and Rose were on that door, Jack had came. <laughs> the big jellyfish come, <laughs> and then Rose's dad came in, and that's why he do- he, he dove <laughs> yeah, yeah. to the bottom. Of the and he was like, "Oh, I'm gonna himself. I'm gonna hide out. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna hide out yeah. under with this that's boat good, for a that's little." That's a good callback. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking yeah, gone, dude. Nice. Come on, yeah, that's yeah. a good work. Oh, he's, he's fucking Rev, mental Rev, athlete over Rev, here. <laughs> I would, yeah. Right, fine. He's in flow state, dude. Right, he just can't help it. You gotta flow. He's just pure flow. It's all less pressure. Yeah, it's all piss. He's just existing. I'm full of piss. Like, does a tree sit there and think, oh, I'm a tree all the time? No. He would. No, because it can't think. And that is what Tommy is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Japanese maple. <laughs> if yeah. I am a tree. Yeah. It's so beautiful. It's a fucking, it's a nice yeah, it's a cherry tree. blossom. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. <laughs> if I you love were picking out Japanese maples, dude. I'm like, look, Japanese maple. I do. I do. It's that one we saw in my town. Incredible. Oh, have you guys just gotten into birds at all? Yeah. He, Why does that uh, happen? Wait. Did wait. You get did you birds? watch the... <laughs> wait, did you guys talk about it? You just bit? released. Wait, <laughs> no, wait, what happened? Are you fucking with us? Yeah, no, I swear to God, I have. I literally, my wife and I, have we you went up. Have ever been beat up on a podcast? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's fucking wait, with dude. us, dude. <laughs> Are you serious? No, we no. just released a bird episode. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wait, a full bird episode. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm it's not, literally called Bird Call. I'm not subscribed yeah. to the Patreon. Okay, <laughs> oh, all right, well, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. you're a big friend. Uh, huh? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I can't get the fucking <laughs> premiere tier six bucks. You know what I'm saying? No, but I'm fucking. <laughs> I'm with my content, girl. pussy. Upstate, literally this weekend, I do shrooms for like the second time ever, and I'm sitting up <laughs> there. On the couch with her, and you're we go through. Dude. We oh, go through. I've changed my couch. You see this? You sat up there. No more. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Talk let's lock to me, it. Dad. Come on, come on, yes. Chris. Be, come on, Chris. Listen. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> hit him with the cardinal question. We all you know it's gone. Oh know it's shit. Okay, I can't wait. Literally, I'm with my girl upstate. We're sitting out there. I knew my brother hit this phase at a certain point because he golfs all the time. So we got super into birds. Yeah. And so he just was golfing, just always looking at the Florida wildlife. And then I just knew it was coming for me. It was just gonna eventually happen, like almost like Alzheimer's or some shit. It's just yeah. gonna be a wave of bird love. And it happened this weekend <laughs> on shrooms. I'm with my wife going through the upstate bird book. And we went through every single bird, every single one page by page, and then did every bird sound to each other, just sitting on the couch, just in a deep shroom hole. What birds do you got in the chamber? I mean, we went through, obviously, the barred owl. It's like a classic. <laughs> yeah, everyone knows what, that one. Okay, but can you hit me with the cardinal? Oh, the cardinal question. And do you know how, dude, the cardinal is everywhere, and you don't know it until mm-hmm. you recognize the call? Well, yeah. because we're talking about, obviously, f- male and female cardinals. And so a lot I of people they make the same, but they look different, and that's why we don't recognize them. Red cardinal or female cardinals are just brown pieces of shit. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you see the female cardinal all the time, but you don't even really recognize them. You're like, yeah, oh, that's yeah. some fucking pigeon or some shit. Yeah. But then you see the beautiful. We just saw one last week. <sighs> Made your week, right? Wait, you yeah. were upstate New York? Yeah, we were in Sardis. Did you get any loons? What's a loon? Like a Canadian coin? Oh. Dude. What are you talking? Like New Hampshire. What is this? Dude. Big in New Hampshire. What is a loon? A loon's a water Dude, bird. I, I want to say that <laughs> I, I, we should get into calls. It makes life more vivid. Everyone I'm with knows. you. This I'm, is like kind of tough for us because we just did this whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it feels like we're regressing. This is yeah, a hack yeah. bit for yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it feels like I'm yeah, just Yeah, it's doing a little it. fresh. It's a little <laughs> fresh. But no, we literally went through every single bird. And I was like, yeah, it's just... No. Have you heard impressive. that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, dude, the my lake's favorite one's up the, there. My favorite Especially one's, this time of year. The morning dove is my favorite. Mate. They're starting to mate up there. Boo! 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 <laughs> morning, morning dove. 
<laughs> kind of a perfect morning. I'm actually surprised a few didn't fly in here, but it is the perfect morning though. And I love. That'd be great if three Puerto Ricans just crashed through the door, <laughs> dude. Well, that's the crazy thing with pigeons. Is like I feel bad for pigeons because you see a wild pigeon and you go, "Wow, that's a beautiful bird." But then you see him on the street and you're like, ah, oh, it's a shame what we did to you guys. Shit. What yeah. was our favorite bird? The dark eyed, the dark eyed juke? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, the jukes. <laughs> the, the warbles eye. are cool too. You ever see a warbles? I don't War know. Warbles no, it's are beautiful. Dark eyed junko. <laughs> junko. Junko. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was dark. also looking at this bird book and I was like, I don't think there's this many species of woodpecker. Like yeah. they're like these woodpeckers are popping up and they're like, this is the spotted woodpecker. This is the whatever woodpecker. I was like, these are the same woodpecker. I think they're just different fatnesses. Yeah. And the researchers are like, oh no, these are different ones. Like, I think, <laughs> they're, right? Like if you looked at humans, you'd be like, oh, there's a bunch of different types of humans. But we're yeah. all homo sapiens. Yeah. You know what well, I'm saying? there's Irish ants. <laughs> they're all yeah. fat. No, yeah. there's a lot of, dude, get into bird. I want to get into, back into bird calls. I got into bird calls over the... <laughs> The pandemic. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but just because, uh, yeah, world, yeah, dude, it's so much. It's like knowing what trees, what plants are around you. Yeah. The world's so much more vivid. How long until you just real. move into the woods? Oh, I want to move into the woods so bad. Right? But, like, but, you're just going to go full, like, Emerson, just like living, just writing, living in the trees. He's working out the. No, I think it might be an Emerson poem where he's just like, dude, this is a nice place, but I can't rest here. It's like in the poem. Yeah. <laughs> there is that there is that Shut thing where it's like when up. I go to the woods, I, I like that I want to stay there. I want to live there. You're so I deep, can imagine dude. a whole life there. Yeah. It's like God, you're so sexual. I have to go back to the city. So sexual and deep. You're, yeah, you gotta you're leave the mountain top. You gotta leave the mountain yeah, top. Yeah. You're gonna have Taco Bell on your chest <laughs> in your <day. laughs> three hours, in right? Two, <laughs> yeah. One hour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. But thinking about birds. Tastes like a pigeon. Yeah. I mean, I want to adopt a parrot so badly. I mean, it's just insane to me that we have this animal I that can parrot. speak. Did you I really? I parrots, yeah. They were shithead and Yoda. <laughs> nice. They were their names. And what they talk? Kidding? No, I two, two parrots growing up. And shithead what, and Yoda. What do they talk about? One was a parakeet, one was a parrot. Wait, what was the difference? Uh, a parakeet's like a, it's just a regular colorful bird. Okay. A parrot is like. You had a parrot that parrot could talk? Parrot was a title word. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it studied abroad. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, had a, I had a trumpet teacher named Mr. Mathis who had a fucking parrot. <laughs> <laughs> and he would say stuff. A trumpet <laughs> teacher? A trumpet teacher. I tried Jesus to learn his Christ. trumpet. Did you pants him? You had a trumpet teacher? No, I was. I'd rip his underwear over. His fucking <laughs> head. Well, he was oh. the one taking the trumpet. Like he was learning. <laughs> Dude, being nice at the trumpet is. <laughs> yeah, if you're a band, I did saxophone. If you're good at the trumpet. Yeah, saxophone. You're a sax guy? Yeah, I was a sax Saxophone guy. was actually cooler because your lip doesn't get all fucked up. Yeah, it's a whole thing. Your trumpet. cheeks get fucked yeah, in. You've yeah. seen Laurie Armstrong's cheeks? Yeah. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, His upper yeah. lip is It's insane. Like, how did you even go to the moon like this? Yeah, it's fucking insane. Fucking God. Yeah. The saxophone is so nice. Yeah, it's a lot better. But then you got an older reed. An older reed you got to suck on. That was a whole yeah. blow a marble from a girl's asshole to her mouth. <laughs> like the fucking... Yeah, just fucking I can do that. I got good lung capacity. Yeah. 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 Oh, Nathan's it? fucking that up. <laughs> no, I was making it stronger, dude. Dude, somehow my cardio is like still good. I ran two fucking six thirty miles the other day. Wow, six thirty. That's yeah. great. Six thirty cruising. Yeah. Wait, back to back miles? Yeah. That's, that was cruising. So That's you did two miles in fucking like thirteen yeah, minutes. Yeah, I got into the Zen state. You got in your pancake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pancake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you got a pancake. Once sometimes. you cramp, you start going. I'll send you some videos of Chris in the Zen state. <laughs> I got one. Look, I got dynamic range. I'm not going to... Wait, this sounds like black man. Wait, <laughs> You're flowing, dude. I can be zen. I can be very nice. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what is this video? This sounds like not a good video. Oh, it's, well, no. That was me in actually a zen state. I, when me, you were focused. You were caramel? Yeah. I was eating a caramel core Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In his underwear. Respectful. I mean... But I was also trying to listen thing to like an audio book. I was, was trying to yeah. listen to an audio book. Which was? It was Lincoln Highway. <laughs> what book is that? It's, uh, it's by Amor Tolls. It's his new book. Did you ever read Gentleman in Moscow or anything? It's beautiful. beautiful. Are you making like Russian literature? Are you guy? tired of this too? No, 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 no. 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 Uh, cool. No, but the guy <laughs> writes so good. Hold He's on, just coming me, in checking. Let me just, hold on. Yeah, the bolts. cameras still aren't on, dude. Like I don't let know me, what he's doing. Let, let me see if I can. Let's going start, on. dude. Let yeah, me see we can start. We could, we, could, we could. Yeah, we could start. <laughs> dude, this is a good line too. YouTube being buddies makes me so happy. It's crazy. It's so awesome. We're both in prisons oh. that are in separate continents. Yeah. <laughs> but just a shared prisoner experience. It's beautiful. Yeah, it There's, is beautiful. It's, something about it's a beautiful it. symmetry. Yeah. yeah. It's something about it that yeah. is amazing. Yeah. Dude, so... There's an orchestration of crazy. I mean, 
Yeah. yeah. What are you guys talking about? Just what? the fact that you guys are just buddies is just so beautiful and poetic oh, in dude, ways you couldn't. If you saw us throw a football, you'd never question it. Yeah. There's a harmony that I think is sort of intangible. Yeah, dude. Start dude. with this. <laughs> yeah, we'll Actually, start. can you get the editor? Yeah, we will start. Yeah, start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, guys, we're going to take a break really quick because I have to tell you about the greatest set in podcast history. And that's the set we're sitting in right now. Yeah. I'm sure you're wondering, Mark, that tent, there, there must have been a custom-made tent. That must have been a tent that you must have fabricated yourself, that you forged in the wood with papyrus reeds. And I'm, I'm here to tell you that's not the case. I actually... I actually got this tent from the good people at White Duck Outdoors. Yeah, it is an amazing tent. And everyone that comes in here is like, dude, this is the coziest, comfiest tent I've ever been in my entire life. And you can make use it as a tent. You can use it as a podcast studio, whatever you want to use it for. But I'm telling you, if you're going to get a tent, you got to go with White Duck Outdoors. Okay, right now we are sitting in the Alpha Wall Tent. That's correct. Everyone that I've had come through here, Paul Rodriguez, people that have been abducted by aliens, they all go, man, if I was in this tent, my life would have been different. I, I'm just saying what they said, okay? So this is the alpha wall tent. If you're curious, if you're trying to go camping, you're trying to spend a long time outdoors, even if you just want to set up like a little Airbnb on your property, let's say you have a big backyard, the kids want to go sleep out there. There's a million uses for these tents. They're extremely durable. And here's what I love about White Duck Outdoors. They are outdoor people, truly. They, are, they, li they love the outdoors. They're, they're not in this to make a quick buck. They truly are outdoor people that use these products and they're making the products that they would use. A lot of these other companies... None of these people go camping. None of these people go outside. They just make stuff that looks cool, that they can just flip easy, but it's made really cheaply. Not White Duck Outdoors. This stuff is supreme. It is premium, and that's because the people that make it actually use it. So if you're interested, you can go to whiteduckoutdoors.com. Check out their whole selection. They got a bunch of different types of tents. They got bigger tents than this. They have massive ones. They have ones that you can use for a bunch of different settings. If you want to go really low temperatures, if you want to do something a little bit breezier, there's a lot of different options. They even just have like other gear. They got, you know, apparel, they have t-shirts, they have bags, they have everything you need for going into the great outdoors. So stop wasting time. If you're going to go camping, you got to check out whiteduckoutdoors.com. Now let's get back to the show. When was the last time you cried? Like just a good weep. Uh, the movie Interstellar. It's not real. <laughs> I mean, crying at a movie or I cry at commercials. It's not a real cry. You're it's just sort of you're letting air out of the tire for something that's really deep and it's not yeah, you real. You cry during uh, fucking American Idol all the time. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, when obviously when the fucking Samoan is singing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I cried. I this was a deep cry. The Hawaiian every, kid. Every American Idol I cried. That Hawaiian kid that's saying about his dad, the James Bond song. All of them. I mean, it's I'm powerful. telling you, all of them. Why is that? I'm the same way. My, my, I talk, my dad told it me it fucks up your 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 mind and your heart. Well, <clears throat> your dude, whole system gets out of whack. That's why church is the the structure of a church is based on acoustics. It's building. It's, it's, yeah, it's it's a, a frequency to hit you. Yeah, it's in a, a, in a deeper level. So you feel like you're being touched by a supreme power, and you're being touched it's by something great, deep. It's just great acoustics. Yeah, it's like doing a podcast in a tent. Yeah, you know, right also, now we feel like we're being touched. Yeah. There's also something resonant. You ever harmonize with someone? Oh yeah, yeah. There's something spiritual happening with yeah. that. It happens deep within. Yeah. Yeah, One yeah, time yeah. I got food sickness and my throat matched my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on. Bum, 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 I put I put his writing up with. This guy. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. same really level, is, dude. Real Dostoevsky over here. It really dude. is. I'm and I'm not kidding. Yeah, it's beautiful. It Honest, upsets well, me, dude. That's the crazy thing, though. <laughs> is that dancing and singing predate modern language. Predate the way that Homo sapiens actually speak language to each There's other. There's no way. How do you organize the choreography? <laughs> like dance like apes, <laughs> dude. I, but like communicating feeling through motion and like through your body and through how you feel. You yeah. feel amazing and you move your body in a good way. You feel sad and you fucking weep. Like, those yeah, things predate, like, that's yeah. reptile brain shit. It's not frontal cortex. <clears throat> yeah, but that feels more cynical, right? Because when you're looking at body language, you're trying to attack somebody. Wait, what? Because they're, like, I mean, look, if you watch Chimp Empire, <laughs> 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 the moment this guy doesn't fucking bang through the woods, they're like, we can kill this fu this alpha. Yeah. And, and he's wounded. This is what I'm he saying. wounded defending the tribe. He was wounded defending the tribe. You see this? And what do they do? They don't help him. This they don't is lick an archaic his mentality that I have currently when mm -hmm. I walk into a bar. That's or a room. insane. You're saying exactly but what you're, I was but yeah, saying. But you were kind of supporting his point. Bad. No, we're animals. You walk in there, you I'm not saying I'm, I'm actually not saying it's bad. I'm saying it is. I'm saying it is. It's very You're bad. right that it is. I'm not, I'm not right fucking that it is. proud right of the mentality is. I have. Dude, I've been in corporate. I'm saying it's the same shit. I'm saying it is. Yeah. <laughs> it just is. It is, but it shouldn't be, you know? Or, We're trying to rise above it. 
or it is. <laughs> no, it is, but it could not be. If do you have were- a consciousness to rise above it, or do you just have a consciousness to observe what is? No, but you True. you can look. I've been in put a pin on it. <laughs> I've been in rooms where it's like you're in that corporate environment or whatever, and there's a guy who's jacked and is retarded, but everyone is acting like he's has something to say because he's jacked. But we're in an environment where if he did anything with those muscles, he would be fired from the company and sent to prison. And yet still people are reacting to this guy like the alpha gorilla. Yeah. That's bad. We need to overcome that. Yeah, but Steve That's Jobs unhealthy. was a beta and he died of pancreatic cancer. <laughs> so which one do you want to do? He was not a beta. Steve Jobs was an alpha. Steve Jobs was an alpha? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Just crush it on the lax. The lax field. Dude, if you were in a room with Steve Jobs, he would destroy you mentally. Yes, so of course. Fast. Of course. We're talking about Alpha. So, yeah, he's an Alpha. But he's Alpha might alpha. be up here too, though. Yeah, Alpha's up there. Of course there. it is. But then I'd alpha's fucking up there, knock him out. <laughs> I would knock him out immediately. But before you get out the second mean day. You might have bodyguards. Yeah, you might have people he'd around destroy him. You. He, he might have auxiliary he alpha. He would say something nasty about your clothes and how you'll never make an iPhone that he would <laughs> like. Yeah, and that's when he would get halfway through that sentence. His turtleneck would be, he'd be a like, turban. He'd be like, you don't think this screen can <laughs> crack? And he'd like throw it down and break, and you'd be like, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Job. Yeah. Mm. Mr. Job. <laughs> Mr. Job. <laughs> Mr. Job. Mr. Job. Mr. Job. I'm so sorry, there, Mr. Job. <laughs> and then, dude. Dude, then he's taking laxatives, trying to get his iPhone out of his asshole because I shoved it down his fucking throat. How did we get on this subject? I don't know, we dude. This is the point of comedy. comedy. Yeah, dude, you we were talking about, about pork pie. Dude. <laughs> you were talking about chip empire yeah. for the last hour and a half. Wait, your buddy upstairs is <laughs> oh, no, like, no. what are you guys going to talk about? Like, oh, you hit play oh, yeah. and you go. I was thinking chimp empire the whole time, so I'm, I'm glad we got there. The yeah. alpha thing needs to get undone. I'm just saying it is. <laughs> Backwards cap. <laughs> but you're right. You're right, though. He's the biggest alpha I've yeah. ever seen. I know. This alpha shit needs to end. Yeah. No, I yeah. want to reverse field here a little bit because sometimes a mental alpha needs to be taken out by a physical alpha. Yes. That's yeah. his point. Yeah. Exactly. You got to level the playing field. And that f- threat of physical violence yeah. always has to be on the table. Yeah. Yeah. We could fuck each other up at any second. Yes. Which is what's keeping it cordial. Yes. And yeah, that if we're on Zoom. But isn't that fun thinking about it? Like this whole time I'm thinking about what if. <clears throat> I lose my mind. And I grab this glass little bowl yeah, here and, and just, just smash over it. fucking beating the just shit a out of Just soccer throw and just... nothing worse <clears throat> than being beaten to death with a giant coffee cup with a, a oh, reusable a metal straw. straw. <laughs> oh, I think about this, dude. I think about walking around with this thing. That's oh, nice. Oh, yeah. I think yeah, about yeah. that it's the kind of stuff all the time. Little instruments you could use to put through someone's eye into their brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give her a little rose, a sudden, Rosemary Kennedy. Yeah. My yeah. thoughts aren't that weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah look who's got a redemption Yeah, well, that's defensive. Late in the pod, dude. I'm a, I'm I'm offensive and defensive at the same time. Like I can't best, drive over a bridge without best. thinking about jumping off of it. <laughs> Cuz I have that fucking Yeah, the void is calling you. The dude. imp of the perverse. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Did you say the imp of the perverse? Yeah, you ever hear that? No. Yeah. What that's that? what it is. <clears throat> the imp of the perverse means knowing something can possibly the 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 outcome of something that is the absolute wrong thing to do. Mm. But the fact that it's possible is, is, is what seductive. bleeds your yeah, yeah. The call of the head. void I've heard it called yeah yeah you're holding a newborn and you're like what if I just punted as far as I could yes yeah, yeah. but that's the worst thing you could do. or you're on a balcony on the 16th floor yeah, a yeah what if I like head party. first what, what, you, yeah. yeah what, what if, if I just, just fucking fully jump? swan dive I could do it yeah there's nothing stopping me nothing but and I should that controls most of my life <laughs> is the game for the perverse yeah so really? so yeah. right now what is the most perverse thing like right now I mean it's exactly what we just described it's like you jump at you. So yeah, thinking about you get a hold of this crow straw. hopping this vape directly into your forehead. <laughs> That's so you couldn't even get a, a crow hop in. The table's too big. I'll back up. You I'll knock the camera. Yeah, <laughs> it's a crow hop, baby. I'm gonna show respect to the crow hop. It's also not a regular table. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Yeah, dude. Wait, yeah. did you lower it because we were coming? <laughs> Kinzuri. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out Kinzuri, okay? So the greatest. Dude, Kinzuri should make like chairs and fucking. But if you start to crow hop, all of a sudden I'm going to have to fucking. Dude, that would. Just, if it could tilt too. And that is deflected. so sick. If it was like the Iron Dome, dude. I, I never had a chance to show that off in the pod, but you guys <laughs> gave me that blessing. So. Yeah. We bring an Addy, Mark. <laughs> yeah, we bring an Addy. Yeah, 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 that's that's big. Dude. You thought of everything. Yeah. So right. what? Is, what is? What's the purpose of that? Just because I want to stand and work in here. Oh, okay. Just fucking hang out, just sweat. Yeah. Alone. 
Yeah, yeah. standing and working is nice. You yeah, don't want to yeah. be those like fucking chunky dildos that sit on like a fucking exercise ball. <laughs> no, that's how you get hemorrhoids. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, exercise ball keeps the, the fucking no, the flower buds in there. No, no, no. no yeah, no, I don't no. understand why sitting doesn't give you hemorrhoids, but a toilet does. Because you're you're forcing. But why? Just relax your pelvic floor. Do you not work on? Do you not do kegels? I do abs. <sighs> See, no, that, you, that's do, the issue. you need to do those sucking things. Yeah. yeah, you gotta do kegels. You gotta work on your pelvic floor. It actually helps with premature ejaculation. Wait, I'm good with, that. with that? Oh no, no, I've done this. I don't have any problem. Where you stop off? If you do that, that's fine with me. I no, think it's, it's the best. <laughs> Wait, this is when you cut I think off it's your the piss, best, right? Dude, you pre- cut your piss off. Coming early. Yeah, also that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, I'm good with that. Yeah, dude, you gotta like work on that muscle. I want to. I want to send this message out to the listeners. It's all the comers. If you come fast, it's awesome. What's awesome about that? Because you can always come again. A lot of people can't, and and it's such a it's such a tip of the cap to the woman. Or yeah, I don't think girls she care that much. Think you just don't have it in you. Well, that's where you need. To, this is the this is the this guy, Steve Jobs versus versus this, me. No, no, yeah, this Steve Jobs yeah. comes quick. Yeah. <laughs> it's that thing where if you pee yourself, tell yourself that's why you wore turtlenecks all the time. If you pee yourself. Ah, uh, he's yeah, trying to fucking restrain, block the blood flow. Yeah, 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 yeah. so it doesn't go directly to yeah, his dick. Asphyxia yeah. cuts off his blood flow. <laughs> yeah. You understand? Yeah. If you pee yourself, tell him you're just sucking on your shirt. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Come early, <laughs> yeah. go. That yeah. was incredible. You're so hot. Yeah, we're gonna go. Again. Are you goofing in her when you do this? Are you goof on her? Well, you got to goof in her if you're coming early because you got to exactly. buy yourself every extra second that you got. Because <laughs> you're hiding it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. If you goof shame. on her and be like, oh, blah, blah, blah. sorry, let's do it again, baby. That's one thing. But if you're goofing in her, first of all, yeah, you can't, you can't, <laughs> you can't, you can't come on someone unless you've built up the show. Can I ask you a question? If you've, you don't unless have to you've this. built up Let the whole you question, thing where you've like you've got a Christopher, moment. I want to ask you a question. They got to be so done with the experience that they just want it anywhere. <laughs> you're you're falutin around town right now, currently. You are you goof? Are you are you goofing? Are you goofing in these in these receptacles? I'll second that question. Cut this from the podcast. But yeah, yeah. Yes, well, for I'm sure, edit it. Oh one. my god! Wait, really? Yeah. And you, do you ask about control or? Nope. And what happens if inevitably one of them will have your child? Right before I'm about to come, I always think I'm about to get married. But dude, you're the craziest person I've and I go, I could marry this ever person. Met. Who cares? Do you get anxious afterwards? No. <laughs> Pure sign of insanity. No, because I go, Flow what state. kind of psychopath would have a dude, kid? Dude, I've with- had I've had issues with like like long term girlfriends where I've came and then go a second round. I'm like, there's still some there's a little gunpowder in the shaft. Yeah, but right? you pee. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If I don't go to the bathroom or like Cream cheese it out. <laughs> yeah, you gotta hit the what go-ger one time. Go, yeah, what yeah, if you we go gotta round go-ger two and she might? I have anxiety about that with a loved one, let alone. Dude, I felt this way about fingering. I was like, I jerked off two days ago. What if? And literally, <laughs> I'm like, insane. that's crazy. I have that's I, crazy. <laughs> dude, I the fear of a child like there's too serious of a fucking. Also, I'm not. I don't want to be with someone that's gonna scoop it out. You know also, what I mean? Like, I'm insane. What kind of idiot would have a kid? Shut up! Me? You're a beautiful mind. You're a crazy person, but you're a beautiful yeah, spirit. Yeah, yeah. You're a wonderful person. You and they're can, gonna yeah. lock you in. Yeah, I would. My I wouldn't issue come is in you. I wouldn't come in. <laughs> you did once. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you got a cramp in your yeah, You remember New Year's? <laughs> <laughs> you remember New Year's, dude? <laughs> pull up, pull up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yom Kippur, dude. 2018, dude. You'd be like, I'm keeping it. I just bought three new frisbees. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, your guy's kid. This podcast to end. Your guy's kid would be a beast. Oh, yeah. He would be an absolute specimen. He'd be low right. to the ground. He'd yeah. get leverage. Yeah, 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 we call him vape. <laughs> Yo, dude, fucking vape Johnson, dude. I mean, I cannot believe you're just leaving it in. I mean, that's really that's insane. crazy. Yeah. Well, if I came early, I'd pull out. Do they like? Are they asking you like, are you safe? Are you asking, are you safe? They're never like, do you have a condom? And you just this is going to be cut out of this podcast. <laughs> Why? Maybe. <laughs> Why? This is natural stuff. My the boy likes to goof. You, you you pick girls that are very goofable. Yeah. Well, they're like. So you want to have a child with them? No. You want to no, put no, it on no, them? No, 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 no. You you find people like I never goofed in. I don't goof in people that I don't think have their own lives. Okay. So if they last have their night, own life, and, and if they're very like, if they're nurses or someone who's getting like tested regularly, then it's like. So you want to set the course. This is how crazy you are. Care of themselves. I think you're doing you. this on purpose because you want that to set the course for your future. 
You see something in someone and go, I'm going to come in her. And if it happens, that will be my life now. Yeah. You want someone else to make the decision. Yeah. 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 And someone yeah, else yeah. say, that's, hey, this dude, is your responsibility. That's, yeah, that's, a, yeah, that's yeah. a path of misery because you don't know these people. Or it could be bliss. No, you don't, don't know anything don't, about the no, people I that know I know them. that you know. I don't know them. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you this. Yeah. But it's nice to like, you know, it's nice to fix a, you know, a, a listing ship. You don't want to <laughs> design the ship and then not have it sail. You know what I mean? Well, you're building a ship when you have no reason to leave the land. No, I have to leave the land. I'm like the turtles. You know what I mean? He's forcing the land to be left. He's yeah. just, he's pushing like their hand. at he, all. He's forcing I their can't. hand. And maybe a kid will oh, happen. And then he goes, now gosh. I have direction. Dude, I'm just the way God made me, dude. He, I he put certain drives way. inside of me. Demanded, he was, I was born sick, demanded to be well. It's not fair. Damn, fucking hosier, dude. <laughs> 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 Respect. <laughs> I love that, dude. <laughs> I think you stole that from Hitchens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's where I'm stealing it from. <laughs> yeah. well, I don't know where we can come back in on this combo. Yeah. But, uh, Another but, man that died of cancer. Yeah, yeah. dude. But, but gentlemen, this has been... I've really been a good a real one. Blitz, I, I feel dude. like we, yeah, I feel I feel like like we covered did. everything. Yeah. <laughs> I want to get back to the meditation. This thing. is the stuff I <laughs> I wanted. <laughs> I wish we yeah. I wish we had a tent. Yeah, yeah. I mean you can get the, I mean I got this for free, so we can get a tent. You can goof in some stranger. <laughs> yeah. Ruin your future. A little shaman, yeah. a little peyote shaman or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, but do you what was the moment where you felt like you got over your hang ups? You never get over it. Every day you pay the rent. But you're fucking now, and you're thinking you're the coolest dude in the world. How did that happen? Well, I have a wife. That helps. You get married at 23, you give yourself purpose. You build essence into your life. That's not just like sort of this meandering yeah, but search also, for something. You have to find I the right like almost That's nothing to do with age. You have to find... If you find someone at 23 years old, and you find purpose, you're you're a very logical person. I got lucky. This is very unique. I got it's lucky. Not luck. You got very lucky. You're, you got are lucky. a unique individual. You're bright. You're talented. I'm sure she's the equivalent. Mm -hmm. 23 years old blurting that out to the airwaves is insanity <laughs> to me because most people that get married in their early 20s this day and age doesn't work they're crazy yeah, it's, you yeah. shouldn't do that or military they're not, rations they're trying to get rations from the intellectually Navy intellectually compatible with, the, with their partner and That's they're, they're not financially stable and it's it's a fucking it's a it's, it's a wreck yeah a lot of times and it's very dangerous <laughs> so you are you're a diamond. You're a diamond. So no, this sounds like a PSA. Just, this sounds like a PSA. It is. So <laughs> yeah. your thing is like, well, I got married at 23, and I set the precedence for growing up early, mm -hmm. emotionally and mentally. That's your choice, regardless of what your age is, regardless of what your yes, everyone whether, has to make that choice. But whether you make it at 23 or you make it at 50, mm -hmm. you still have to make the choice of to course. commit. Of course. To an imperfect person, yes. as an imperfect person. Yes. Which is the, the grand joke of the cosmos. It's yes. <sighs> two imperfect people choosing to stay committed regardless of our, Dude, of our failures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When some fucking Uncle Ray gives you a little nudge going, look how hot she is. <laughs> Somebody's tired of fucking her. Yeah. When I heard that at like 16, I didn't understand it. It's not about the beauty. Mm -hmm. It's about the mind and the spirit. Yeah. It's about the eyes and the heart. It's about the personality and your best friend. Yeah. You find that. Whether it's 23 or 43, you fucking commit. You don't go goofing on strangers. <laughs> the, committing is, the committing is so No, hard. you'll know. That's the thing, though, is like you think you're committed to someone else, but really you're committed to yourself. Hey, I'm going to be a better person. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I am going to rise to the occasion every time she needs something, and I'm actually going to be good. You're not what, committed to someone else. What if you don't point, trust yourself? But yeah, that's the point. What if you that's, fail no, yourself no, I was just going to say this. So to your point... You don't know you want to be better to yourself and commit to yourself and be better for someone else until you meet the right person that's like, I want to, I see the inconsistencies of my actions, of my thoughts, of my behaviors. Mm -hmm. And then you meet someone and go, oh shit, I'll start to realign myself. And I think I'm going through that right now. And I realize how immature I was for decades. Yeah, I'm just getting off and having fun. And doing the flow. Yeah. I like, and now I see, like, all right, well, this is, <clears throat> it was all about me. I was wrong. That's a In weird realization. Ways. Is that difficult? Like, genuinely, is that yes. like weird to like oh, realize? No, that's like, that's ah. the whole, the whole meditation process that you guys were speaking of. It's like pr when you go personal and you go, I'm going to think about this in a different way. I'm going to react in a different way. I'm going to listen to the language that she's speaking. I'm going to think about the language that I'm speaking. I'm going to think about the whole process of one one night let alone one year and then go 
all right, well, how are you getting better? It's the same thing with a career, right? So you go, all right, every day, am I doing a little bit of something? And then I look back and I go, no, I wasted fucking eight years of talent doing nothing. So then you just kick it in the gear when you find that person that's going to be your second engine. Mm. You find someone that's going to go pushing you that makes you, you know, like, like accountable. 100%. And getting married, I think, does that. And that helped me a lot. I think like, if I was single in this time, it would have been a lot more difficult to really stay tethered to some type of center, like core, some type of earth, yeah. like grounding. Like, I just kind of would have been, I would, like, would have been unsure of who I am. I would have been with my girl since before I did stand up. Yeah. So like, she knows the essence of who I am. She, yeah. she could give a fuck about yeah. the fucking pod, the fucking yeah, success, yeah, like dude. the people I'm hanging. She could, she, her ideal dream is that I become a teacher. Her yeah. ideal dream is that I'm like working in construction. Yeah. I get to hang out with her more. Like that's like her ideal. My situation. boy McKeever said this to me. He was like, I, I want you to meet someone on the way up. Yeah. I want you to meet somebody before shit pops off. Mm -hmm. Because it'll be real. Now, from my grandiose perspective of like sex, power, fame, ego. This ego, is all ego. All You're describing shit. ego in a bunch yeah. of different ways. If I had this like in my diary at fucking 28 or even 35. I'd be like, I'll get fucking famous. I'll have money. And you then I'll the just get the pick bitch. of the litter. Yeah. The Whoever baddest you want. bitch. Whoever you want. Who the fuck is that woman to you? Mm -hmm. You'll never know. Yeah. <clears throat> You'll never know. And then if it goes away, where is she? Who yeah. knows? Yeah. yeah. yeah Maybe she sticks with the you. The difficult thing is that there are attitudes and lifestyles that are good for business. And there's attitudes and there's lifestyles that are good for family and home life. This is what I think makes like the Soprano is so interesting. Is, is why they did both. Yeah. It's like the dude, he, the dude he wants to be for his kids and for his wife is entirely different than the dude he wants to be. And also needs to be in both situations. Yeah. But needs to be in his like yeah. criminal, like business life. Dude. Mm. And those those two things are in direct conflict. Now he wants both of those things, but like making those things coexist is very, challenging. very, very challenging. Well, have you ever seen the ever seen the Iceman, Richard Kuklinski? He's yes. a hitman the guy for the mob. Killed someone with rats. He killed <laughs> many. Yeah, he many guy ways. in a cave and just had. He rats burned eating. somebody. Yeah. He crossbow. He was a hitman for the mob. Oh fuck! But when you watch the documentary, he was a family man. And what you're saying—that's a is, sociopath. That's like a what I'm saying a is psychopath. Like using Sopranos as like, I think, and I it took me a long time to try and even think this way that you're speaking because I thought the same thing. It's almost like saying a comic going, "If I get therapy, I won't be funny. Yeah. If I get it help, like I won't yeah. be funny." It's like no. If you find someone. It'll accentuate both avenues and both areas of work and, and home. And it'll make you a better person. Yeah. And that's the goal. And everything before this, I had the same mentality. I still do of like, I can't believe it. I'm trying to get there. But like, I'm still recognizing that like, I was immature, dumb about like how smart I actually am. Mm -hmm. And was just refusing to learn more about myself. Mm. It's like the fucking oxygen mask coming down. You put it on yourself first before you save your kid. You got you to gotta look within, and then you can find somebody that will actually land the plane. And why? You felt it was <laughs> stupid to do that? No, but then it's No, still I didn't think it was stupid. I just think I wasn't in the right... I wasn't ready. Mm. It's, like any, it's like any bottom floor of anything. It's like you want to help yourself, whether it's meth, drinking. I have lots of problems. It's like whether you hit that ground floor... And you're ready to make a change for yourself. And then you start seeing things differently going, oh shit. That whole time, that whole fucking time, I was just wasting away mm. the opportunities, the potential in relationships, friendships, family, all that shit. You can't have regret over that though. Like that just, no, that just, that's just, the hardest part. That's just, is letting go. That's what was. Yeah. But it's if what is. Regret like, motivates you to be better. What's true, wrong with that? True. True. Yeah. yeah. But a little it, bit of balance. If it, I think regret more often than not kind of, like demotivates people and sort of makes them recoil and like have guilt and shame again that's yeah. an intellect Which, thing that's if you're true. strong enough that's true if you have the mindset that you have to like fucking meditate and say this type of shit you could say that but like regretting i agree with you if you're just some fucking dimwit you get regret and you're like well fuck that guy i'll fuck, I'll fuck that yeah yeah head up <clears throat> that's why i was for years like full fucking pussy 
I don't talk to my brother. Yeah. It's like, dude, there's a lot of shit that like takes time and it's, it's age and personal work. That's why I respect you doing the fucking meditating and stuff. Yeah, you get in there. It's tough, but I'm in a zone, dude, that I can't get out of. Like I said, I'm attacking myself. My constant, brain found a way. It's like it's constant like overthought. it's like in the Matrix when those like spider things like crack open the they like found a way in. Yeah. I, I was doing so good. It was so cathartic. It was so wonderful. And then all of a sudden it's like you're not really doing it. How aware are you of the genesis of that pain though? Right? Like like why like how aware of you are the genesis of like why your brain is trying to constantly foil your attempts to better itself i just like i know that it's human nature to have like an inaccurate self-image like your version of yourself is never going to be the way that other people see you exactly but that's that is something that you want to achieve so that you can make adjustments mm -hmm. you know what i mean like if you're if you think you're not being an asshole but you are being an asshole like you want to somehow bridge the gap and recognize that like your behavior is impacting other people or like letting them down or like doing these things. It's like you want to recognize that and be able to adjust for it. Mm -hmm. um, so in that sense, it's like reality is very important. So then there's that thing where it's like if I sit down and I spend 30 minutes meditating and I feel all, all the good that comes from recognizing that my brain is not – like is not who I am that it's like constantly suggesting things. I don't have to take it suggestions that I can just, I can just witness it being a brain. Mm -hmm. I can just, I can just be like you said, like you're in that space where yeah. it's just pure experience. Mm -hmm. You're just feeling feelings and you're As breathing. It is. Yeah. Yeah. It is what it is. It's like, that's a nice place to arrive at, but it's like, did I genuinely arrive at that? Am I, is that just like a goal that my brain is good at like pretending that I've achieved or am I actually doing that? Is this improving me? I guess there's that thing where it's like, if you're, if I feel like if I'm not actually focused on getting better in the, at this, then it'll be like everything else in my life mm. where I pretend like I've crossed some threshold, but I haven't. And what if the answer is just yes? Yes, it is improving you. Yes, it's not a waste of time. Yes, you are worth putting the effort into to try to improve. Well, yeah, it's worth putting in the effort in, but it's you're like wondering whether you have the right instruction to like make adjustments. Yeah, but and is anything better than nothing though? Um, is anything better than nothing? I guess. I guess I just don't want to be tricking myself into thinking I'm making some progress that I'm not actually making. But this is like this is like the, the you have three brains in your head, <laughs> and they're all combating each other. Yeah, because like you you say logical shit that's like yes, and then you go, what if you look like yeah. three, you have three brothers in a bedroom? <laughs> yeah, and it's like one brother like sharing a I bed. Made the team. Yeah. He's like, well, you're not going to make senior year. Yeah, not gonna yeah. be varsity. Yeah. yeah, it's like you you you're constantly battling this shit where it's like stay the course of positivity. And listen, I am I would be a wonderful therapist because I can talk to people. It's if you figure it out. Let me know how I can do it. The cobbler's shoes have holes in it, bro. Yes. Yeah, that is the yeah, fucking, yeah, that is yeah, the saying, yeah. bro. Like, I know that well, feeling completely. But when you see that with a loved one, you're like, well, fucking Yeah, fix it. Fix it's it. the best advice ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then you can't ever self-diagnose. No. But like, Dude, it's the same reason. Like, I get, I'll get fucking drunk tonight. I'll go to the gym tomorrow morning. I get done the gym, which is my therapy mm -hmm. and physical exertion to release serotonin and fucking mm -hmm. endorphins. And which I go, you are fantastic you're fine. with, by the way. Yeah, well, I have to. Otherwise, I'd be fucking so depressed. Yeah. I literally would have to be on medication yeah, if I didn't go to the gym. Yeah, That's I, why I feel I'm the same way. 43. I feel the same exact And it's way. not a good thing. It's not like, look, <laughs> I'm fucking, I'm in shape. <laughs> I'm in shape because I'm not in shape. Yeah, yeah mentally. <laughs> mentally, yeah, <laughs> and emotionally. Yeah, yeah. No, so I feel So it's that. like finding that like balance of going like, well, when you, when you feel something or hear something in your head, Against the progress you're making, put it to the fucking basement. Yeah. Have you gone to therapy? Have you talked about childhood shit? I've gone to therapy before. I, I like, I just, I don't know. I, I, I haven't met the right therapist. Yeah. It's but really the thing. Which it's is only like, better than nothing. No. <laughs> no, they, they don't. They just like, the thing is that my, my whole problem is... Is what I like is is this real? 
Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You have those things where you're like, am I actual, like, like you said, we have this big group of people that are very funny that have all come from Philadelphia and they're, they're being very successful. And you're like, am I good at this or am I just riding a rising tide? Mm. Yeah, yeah, of and then course. you go. It's like you do stand up, and the results are there. And I've had success in that, like outside of our group necessarily. But you're still in that place where you're like, "Am I?" Yeah, it's constant self doubt. It's it's yeah. predicated. It's self doubt predicated on like lack of self esteem. Where it's like, "Am I might not necessarily be worth all this validation?" So there must be some other type of explanation for it. And then you try to seek it out amongst the things that are around you. And I think for me at least, that came a lot from like childhood shit, where I was yeah. like, when you have an overbearing parent or like a family that you sort of get lost in that a family might be objectively bad or a parent might be objectively bad. It isn't my exact situation, but this yeah. happens a lot with people where like they'll have quote unquote bad parents and then their explanation, because as a child, your parent is the sense, the source of everything. They are the source of all goodness and life and everything that's ever happened to you that's amazing is through your parent. And yeah. if they're bad, you don't as a child, like you don't have the cognition and rationalization to say, oh, they are at bad. You just say, they're treating me bad, so therefore I must be bad. Mm -hmm. And then that yeah. trickles through your whole life. And then you don't even realize your parents were actually shitty. And then you actually just internalize all this self-doubt through their behavior and how they projected yeah. their belief onto you. Yeah. So then you just carry on their baggage and then you just live your whole life being like, ah, oh, fuck, I'm not worth giving a fuck about yeah. because I was forgotten about through my parents because they were dealing with their own shit that might not even have anything to do with This is why I'm you. grabbing my wrist when he was saying that last statement because <laughs> I want to slap the fucking shit out of him. <laughs> He's so talented, so funny. Like, it's crazy. We're all different. But it's like breaching that, like that fuck, it's a doorstop. Yeah. Right. So like you have access to a paradise of fun, shit and happiness and you're not realizing it. That's why I like Instagram, to be honest. Because like I get to like capture shit I would forget because I'm in yeah. my own fucking yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'd be like, I don't remember being that happy. I don't remember doing this cool shit. Yeah, of course. And I'll send it, I'll show something to my mom or dad and they're like, all oh. right, well. <laughs> you got insurance? Like something fucking, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, something yeah. crazy. Like your mother with the, yeah, yeah, when yeah, you show her yeah, the yeah, whale yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, you oh want lasagna God. to go? Like yeah. cut it off. Yeah, yeah, and I, I never felt so much, like I, I was just so aligned with your emotions and your upbringing with that comment because they're just, they are who they are. You are who you are, but you can also fix who you are. And if they don't, fuck them. Yeah. Well, that's also like my childhood thing is that like my parents were great. My parents were really great. They're parents, wonderful people. But their thing is like, hey, we like got out of New York and now we're in this place and don't fuck anything up. Mm -hmm. Like their th like their whole energy is just like be we cool. We we made it into this place. All you got to do is just get a job be that chill makes about. sense yeah. in this yeah. place yeah. and you just you we you can exist here yeah. and not in yeah. Castle Hill. Yeah, like yeah. you can just be here and not there. Yeah, and that's. And do you like, feel like you're directly going against that? Oh, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, dude. Dude, this life choice is so insane. Stupid. Yeah, my my like my my dad grew up in Castle Hill projects. My mom grew up like in the Bronx, like decent, like fine, but like cop kid. And then they moved to Connecticut, and it was just like. We're in like paradise, and yep. it's like just make friends with and the other rich cool. people, and, and just you gotta make. get a job that makes you kind of rich, and just this dude. Is, that's my biggest fear about all these. you can do. You have kids, and then they can be rich, and then we just no, you're just fine. There's I know like, it's so fucking and insane. That's, and, but the the attitude at the time also was like crazy. As a kid, this sounds like a weird thing to complain about, but it's like when you're in a town that you it you're kind of it feels like your parents vibe is like we just snuck in here <laughs> yeah you know what i mean yeah we don't like, deserve to be here like the whole energy was like we just snuck in yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and if you quiet so no one will notice you know what i mean and it's like they would have things was like don't talk about where we went on vacation don't talk about how much money we make they like wouldn't tell me it was just like we just we're here the only point is we're here and, and that's let's, all that matters just be make friends and just try to stay in this zone and you're like <laughs> it's yeah. weird yeah dude that that pursuit of happiness from a second generation is so detrimental to which they were not wrong for thinking they're not of course yeah, not yeah. my yeah. dad talked me out of going to art school and i went to engineering yeah. school <laughs> 
It's like, I don't want to be a fucking engineer, but they're like, you're tenth in your high school. We worked your fucking dick off. You got a scholarship for baseball. Yeah, yeah. What do you can you continue gonna... this? I have to pee so bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no. Yeah, we can end. Yeah, we can yeah, end. Yeah, yeah. We're not in. Yeah, yeah. It's just so still like, violent. You, you... For the... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, dicks and pussies. Dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's like, a, it's a weird. I learned, I tried to learn, I'll say like a decade ago, where I was like, oh, my mind, my mo my mother's mind is stunted in terms of me as a human being. She sees me in a high chair. I got that. My dad resented me for a while and then became my friend when I got to college. Wait, but why did he resent you? I was the youngest. He probably, he had a fucked up childhood, so he probably thought I was spoiled for being loved. Yeah, yeah. His dad left him. He was abused. His mother was an alcoholic, all that shit. So, like, he probably was like, you're fucking, you don't understand what you have, which I didn't, but I was loved. Yeah, yeah. So then it got to the point where, like, our relationships individually changed. It was inverse. It was a bell curve. My mother, I was the youngest, so I was a baby. So my mother took me around everywhere. And then I realized I was always a baby for her, and she would never realize what I was doing. My father realized what I was doing, but he also kind of, like, forced me out of, pursuing what we're doing right now yeah because just like you said it makes sense they went from delco to westchester pa and that yeah. was like Phew, yes and it's like dude i get it just live in westchester dude my biggest fucking everything pet, will be fine everything will be fine yeah be an engineer You'll cut the lawn yeah they'll go to a good elementary school they'll yep. go to a mid good middle school yep. your kids will go to good high school yep You'll be friends with other people that are stable and like... The problem is once we broke past that success point. So now we're at a point where like we're actually a thing. Which we have been a thing yeah. for a long time. A decade. Yeah, yeah. My mother still doesn't understand any of it other than, are you happy? Which is great. That's a mother's role. My dad, where are you at? This week. Like, that's fine. But when it comes to like hanging out, I, I went to my niece's birthday party like a month ago. And my dad was like just sitting there saying something. I was like, Dad, don't you think it's weird you never like <laughs> I got it, I got my emotions. I was like, Isn't it weird you never ask like, how you doing? How's work? Yeah. How are you? Well, it's I think fucking crazy. I'll finish on this. It's fucking yeah. crazy to think that I'm I want to have children and I wouldn't imagine not sitting on their bed in grade school and high school. Being like, what do you want to do? Yeah. What, what, like, what, I, I know, obviously, financials will affect that. And that will be a powerful position. But I also don't want my kids to be some fucking, I want to be an actress. It's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. be a real fucking person first. Well, you got to go. So that's the problem. It's like, yeah. you go through this mentality of going, we're here now. We didn't used to, you know, we used to be there. We're here now. So now you're here. Hopefully you can get there. It's like, but for, for what value? Who, who is that person when they get to that point? Because well, what I see the change is you just care about what other people think. Mm, what yeah, your fence looks like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How big your house is. Do yeah. you have a boat? Everybody on the lake has a boat. That's not going to make it. You don't have a fucking boat. Yeah. It's like, even if I have a boat, I'm going to have, my kid's going to be a fucking landscape. <laughs> yeah, that kid's yeah. going to get his dick kicked in yeah. with fucking peewee football. Yeah. He's going to be in a bag. He's not going to be fat, but <laughs> I'll put him in a bag anyway. I'll make him lose five pounds just because. <laughs> yeah, just yeah you got to cut weight. feel what that feels like. It's like, dude, I got to cut weight for my dad. That's the biggest difficulty is like the success of your parents making you a better generation, right? Everybody wants their kids to be better. That's the goal. Well, but at what cost? At what cost is you giving the next generation a better life? Because are they a better person? Are you giving them a better life just financially and like culturally? Yeah. Or do we put them back in the fucking project? Well, that's what I like about that. <laughs> Roll Ch some dice. There's a Chappelle. There's a Chappelle quote where his dad. He was like, "This he, is not." Are we like three hours? I'm so sorry. I don't know. Dude, uh, yeah, who yeah. cares? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're existing. Uh, yeah. We're flowing. Uh, dog. Uh, okay. Chappelle yeah, yeah. quote. At this point, we're just hanging. Out, like. <sighs> That's the whole goal. We are, yeah, yeah. I want the listeners to know we're actually our friends outside of this podcast. <laughs> Which is why know. this is going <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's no way we would just be doing this to you. Uh, but there's that great Chappelle quote where he's, he, I think he's like, he's, I think he was graduating high school and he was thinking about getting into comedy and his dad was like, do you want to do this? Like, are you going to make enough money? 
And his kind of response was, well, if I could make a teacher's salary mm -hmm. doing this, that'd be enough. Yeah. And we're like in that zone where it's like we're making good like. Yeah. I'd say As we're if professors. we were working, we're <laughs> no, we're, like, we're college we professors. You, you, it's like we're making the kind of money that it's like if you're working like a good white collar yeah. job, you're making that money. It's it like, is dude, enough. We're not, we're yes. not like, okay, yeah, we're not making millions of dollars a month, but it's like it's fucking substantial. It's it's great. Yeah, and our lives are good, and we're doing the thing that we wanted to do. Isn't that better than? Yeah, yeah, that's more other, than enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that's how I look at it. I'm like, if there's, I truly don't give a fuck if anyone listens to this show ever. Like I just enjoy the oh, process come on, of it. it. Would devastate. <laughs> no, dude, I truly would do it if no one listened. Really? There's episodes that have like I a thousand views. This. I truly like because the flagrant is awesome. Like flagrant gets so many views, and like there's enough money from that. Like this, the purpose of this is just for the experience. Like, yeah. like to me, I'm like the purpose of this is the purpose of life. Like doing it is the point. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like the so, living is in the work. Exactly. What's That's the point of watching a movie? Saying. It's not to get to the end. The living is in the work. Exactly. Man. That's my point. And this is the yeah. work. It's like this is the experience. Yeah. And so to that end, I'm like, dude, I always said if I could start comedy and get ten thousand people hypothetically that would like support me, that'd be enough. If yeah. I could get each one of them gave me a dollar a month, I'm like, dude, yeah. You got out of your mind. What else? Yeah. What yeah, else? I'll go yeah. move to a mountain, get some chickens and like have an awesome life with my six kids. Like, yeah. yeah, didn't you just sell out the comedy store? In La Jolla, yeah, 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 which is like crazy. Yeah, I mean, Schultz helped out a lot with that. He like posted Dude. about it a lot, but like, yeah, it's like, and I'm 26. I'm like, this is uh, uh, like absurd. Like How all of this. Yeah, 26. But uh, my point is like, throw up. Dude, if all this ended tomorrow, I would be just as happy. I'd be like, yeah, this is like uh, suffering is life, and anytime it's not suffering is a fluke. And so, be grateful for the times that it's not suffering, and just that it's like th that it's this. I will say yeah, this, man. You, you are, you're a powerful, you're a powerful kid. You really are. <laughs> Twenty six years old, having we'll this, see. this wherewithal. This tent, this, dude. This, <laughs> dude. No, dude, <laughs> the dude. Alone. The tent is incredible. Yeah, dude. Twenty six years old, I was fingering a girl in a, a coat closet, <laughs> not thinking about any of his nonsense. <laughs> Dude, Here. we're all on our own journey, Thomas. Yeah, we are. We're all on our own journey. Youth lacrosse. You got damn right, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. Screaming You're a superior athlete. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, just getting off. I was coaching him up. <laughs> we're all on our own journey, dude. We're all trying to figure this thing out. And like, like I said, everyone's got their own movie. And the point is not to get to the end. It's to the the, the art is in the work. No, the point is to get to the end. Survive till the end. You got to flow, dude. Survive till the end. The point is exist till the end. Yeah, but I mean, it's like keep fighting, get yeah. to the end. Yeah, you know what I mean. Get there. But everyone has their own end. Well, so who knows? Die. Who knows where end. your end's at? Yeah. Look, yeah. An end, there's an, I stopped there's, doing cocaine. <laughs> that's pretty good for that reason. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. I dude. Extended my. End. We all got our own end. Stopped. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're on a hiatus. A bad yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's on Please a hiatus. Cut that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a fucking twenty minute podcast. <laughs> so, yeah. Sometimes I let a bad goof in my nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> Just go ahead and taste that bleach again. Yeah. <laughs> That's why everything smells like bleach. Yeah. It's just cocaine residue. Babe, you clean it here? <laughs> what is this? Dude? You mopped the hallway? <laughs> oh, no, I did lines last night of a hooker. Uh, God damn it. We're all going to figure it out, boys. Yeah, and man. I love watching your movie. I truly do. Do you have yeah. places to be? I should feel like we should keep I got going. A, I got a spot. Of, I have a spot of Gotham up. at 10 yeah, 15, yeah. unfortunately. Is it nice? Not <laughs> we, dude, we've been doing this for three hours. Do you want to do the sequel uh, next month? Yeah. All right, cool. Oh, God damn right. I'll see, yeah, I'll see yeah. you guys here. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for, uh, we yeah. have a finite amount of time on this planet, okay? Yeah. Let's In terms it. of human existence, I mean, the amount of time that you guys will be here is nothing. Yeah, we live We live from spot to spot. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and the fact that you chose to spend something with me <laughs> yeah. means a lot. So. Yeah. That's the flow, baby. Yeah. Let's go, dogs. I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much.